We are now. Are we? Yes, we are now. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. Right. to start. <laughs> oh, there's the squeak. It has been found. A wild squeak has been found. Oh, my bird. <laughs> oh, we're all... <laughs> I will never fail to point that out when that happens. <laughs> oh, so, oh, hi, internet. Hi, uh, hi, hi, <laughs> hi, <laughs> Which, in reality, is hi, Kira, but... I'm not even sure Kira's, Kira's here tonight. There's Scott out there. Do we have a Scott? <laughs> Can Scott come on down? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you my stars. Get a car, and you get a car. <laughs> you get to die. <laughs> you get to die. Also, what if my nickname in the chat stop being Death Oprah? I don't know. Because uh, that's right, you're Disabledist Love now. I don't know when that happened. <laughs> oh, that was me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Do um, I even have a nickname in the chat? Melatonin. Yeah, yeah, you melatonin. melatonin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Noah is Rosetta Stone. Uh, Ethan is sexist love, and I'm racist love. <laughs> no longer racist love. Uh, I'm no longer racist. Oh, that's right. You're, you're no longer racist love. Not that you're no longer racist love. <laughs> yes. I mean, technically, both are accurate. <laughs> yes, but yes, but but I decided that it's okay to have <laughs> love is okay, everybody. All right, so you are a mess tonight, aren't we you? are. Oh my stars, this is so bad. Um, right now Gabrielle's driving in a car. She should be here shortly. Um, oh, my stars. Um, y'all, Ewans, are standing near the gate. We're out of the honeymoon suite? You're out of the honeymoon suite. Look at us go. Clover has elected to stay in the honeymoon suite. Uh, she's, she's elected to stay. She's, she's working on her epic ballad about last night. Uh, she wants you to come back with uh, notes for her so she can turn your adventures into a song. Party barred, everybody. <laughs> but she's home, she's working, she said she wants to try and fix her instrument, she wants to try and get back out there to make a little bit more gold. Tasha, don't say a word. Don't say a word? <laughs> 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 Interesting. Don't. Just don't. Word. <laughs> Everybody word. A word. And word. <laughs> and upward. Frick you, Tasha. Frick you. <laughs> That's two words, Ethan. And those are not kind words. We only allow kind words at the gaming table, blockhead. <laughs> Your mom is a nice lady. <laughs> yes, she is! <laughs> okay. We are so distractible, right? You're welcome. Yeah, you guys are just laughing, and I'm still trying not to be mad about 19th century medicine. Yes, we were. What can I say except you're, you're welcome. welcome? And that's a copyright strike. No, there's not enough of it. Yes, but also, nope, do we please... It also wasn't similar enough to the song, so... Yes, we also, we also put out there that our channel is not suitable for children. <laughs> we Wait, why are we worried about copyright for singing, like, one line of a Disney song when no. one time we sang the entirety of uh, I'll Make a Man Out of You with Ukulele Accompaniment? I don't also, think it was recognizable really as music. I think anyone on YouTube is going to go through and watch every episode and be like, they sing a lyric of a song! <laughs> they sing a lyric Did of a song! Did you hear about, about the people that pranked the um, the YouTube staff by uploading a 10-hour video and then reporting it for um, nudity and forcing the YouTube staff to go frame by frame through a 10-hour video? <laughs> that is cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah. YouTube kind of deserved it. <laughs> anyway. Okay. It's... I actually don't know if YouTube deserves okay, it or well, not. We're not terribly... All right. Terribly distractible. Under the morning desert sun, you heroes 
stand by the gates. Slowly, shadows are creeping across, but beginning to vanish as noonday approaches. Telmarna is quiet today, as if everybody's sort of recovering from last night's great riot down at the temple. There's little better words for it. A rally, a religious experience, in quotation marks. Something happened last night, and you were there to see it. You've been going to go try and find this kid. I assume this is after our morning errands. Yes, yes, you guys have already run your morning errands. <coughs> Long last, my flower. Yes. Did I get the crystals? Um, what day did you go to the guy? I wanted to do that when everybody was like going shopping. Right. Okay. So we'll say you did that. The guy was able to get back to you. Um, basically, what he brings you back is he brings you like a bag of like throwaway crystals. Um, only seven of there's like about twelve of them. Only seven you recognize as actually being Texian crystals. As like usable. As like usable Texian crystals. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what kind? Um, let's see, the options you have are, like, they're just regular, so four of them are just regular. So just fire? Yep. Uh, four okay. of them are just fire. <coughs> one you think is ice. How many? Uh, one you think is ice. Okay. Um, and then there's two that you're not sure about. You haven't seen this kind before. Okay. I'll experiment with them as well. Like a pale amber color. Okay. Can I make an alchemy check to see if I can figure out? Yeah, what sure. Like? You can go for it. Oh, um, Harley, this is just you and me, but I wanted to have a, a chat with Azalea last night. I'm happy to do that on our own time. Seven. Okay. Seven. You haven't the cool. foggiest. Awesome. Well, all right. Fire, I guess. So, um, or um whatever element we are. <laughs> anytime someone else is mm -hmm. doing something or like talking to someone or they're walking around and it's not super crowded, Azalea's going to be reading her history book. Okay, sure. I can carry you if you want to just read while we get there. Huh? I can carry you if you want to just read while we try to get there. No, no, no. I, I can read and walk. It's a skill I've perfected. Okay. Azalea, ma Azalea, we'll proceed to bump into you intermediately. Azalea, ma Azalea, make a perception check. Make a perception check with disadvantage. Where did my? Hold on. Where did it go? I put it away. So. Oh. Seven. Seven. Uh, as, uh, you know, you guys look back and you know, even the, Azalea is still, you know, reading and making forward progress. Uh, you know, you know, I mean, pinballing off of stands and carts and <laughs> small animals. And Put a hand on her shoulder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like you pull her back, just she like wanders out in front of like a like like an ox cart, and it just wanders back. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Okay, all right. I used to jump on a trampoline and read. Ladies and gentlemen, the heroes that <laughs> Clover wants to try and write songs about. <laughs> Crushed by an ox cart was she. For distracted by her intellectual... No. <laughs> so where Clover crosses out a line. <laughs> um, uh, Alright, so um, you guys are heading towards the gate. Um, is there, like, I don't know, because I, I feel like I'm kind of railroading you guys. Is there anything else that you guys would want to do besides go on the quest that you guys accepted? I have chat, but I think I need Gabrielle for that, so... Okay, cool. You have your chat. We can handle that at any time. Uh, so, uh, as you guys are leaving the city out under the vines, the sort of the vine 
uh, little walkways, you see a uh, you see a familiar figure approaching you. It's a uh, it's a uh, so it's a Sergeant Shabazz. My friends, it is uh, good to see you. Huh? Yes, uh, he he um he he will be here very briefly. He um he he like he like pulls out he pu he pulls out like some sort of pouch. He puts on a ring that shows the uh that shows the symbol of the people that you're working for. The uh that sort of the swoosh with the diamonds and the 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 triple swoosh with the diamonds in the middle. You know what I'm talking about. You, you guys have seen that one before. Um, but so he pulls that out and he goes, "Just uh, it is good to see you all again. I just wanted to uh, wish you uh, luck on your quest. The uh, the Televs are very generous. If you succeed, they are not as forgiving in failure." He's going, what exactly do you mean by that? I think you could read into it whatever you like, little wizard. Um, <laughs> I mean, don't bother coming back to town like before they kill us all anyway. Sure. Yes. No, 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 no. I, I don't think that. No, we're not gonna get killed horribly. Don't count the bell. They seem like nice people. I didn't say killed. I just said it'd be best not to come back to town. Assuming nice people always have a mask. Shabazz, I hate to agree with my brother in this case. He's actually right. Guys, not everyone yes, is bad. Very well. Yeah, well I'm sure some people can just be nice. I, I think mean, you might be the only one, as Yeah, that. <laughs> I think I'm pretty nice, you guys Francis stop being so pessimistic. Exactly. See, Francis is nice. I'm all right. <laughs> Humans. <laughs> and I'm Elves. sure that there are other people in the world who are nice and good. Not everyone is bad. No, but and it's safer to assume even that the bad they are. people have a good side. It's a lot it's safer there. to assume that everyone is bad. That way you're prepared for it and it's that it's easier. Bad. But if you assume the worst, aren't you just living in a terrible... That, how, that must feel awful! Not when you're used to it. Yeah, you get numb to it pretty fast. You live sad lives. <laughs> Some may say we don't even live lives, but... Who says we don't live lives? <laughs> she I like... don't know what that means, but, like... Do you need some flour? <laughs> No. Or like I was alluding hug? to the fact that some would believe that we are merely machines. Oh. Do you, do you believe we're ma machines? I think it's a concept that should not be thought out. Then so, was he hugged as a child ever? I mean, I hugged him. He wasn't quite as, um, Pessimistic. grim. <laughs> Or, yeah, pessimistic works. Shabazz yes, has punched out of the conversation. Child, I saw the good in many things and lived to regret it. Which. Is there, is, are there like any flowers or anything happy looking around? I mean, there's some vines on the lattice work over your heads. Vines have flowers Look, green, sometimes. Yeah. And it's growing and it's beautiful. See, yes, it's good. It's right dead. there. And yes, it will soon burn. Mm. All right. <laughs> Why does the bleeding nature of something make it inherently bad? It doesn't. In fact, doesn't the fleeting nature of it just make its beauty all the more real? It Maybe also it's... makes it all the more unimportant. It may also be a, a, a matter of, of lifespan. <coughs> so, you see things different when you get older, and I realize that when you're our age, you're going to be mostly dead, but... Um, yes, we have lived lives three times as long as yours and still look younger than you. She's a halfling. They live pretty long, too. 
halflings live I'm also like not all years. that yes, old. I know. Bazelia's not all that old. So, so as as this conversation is continuing... Bazelia's like the equivalent of 23. As, as is talking, Francis is going to like come over and like reach down and like take her hand. Some people don't like to be cheered up, uh, Azalea, and you know what? We love Gloom and Doom, but we just need to let Gloom and Doom know that we love them even when they're gloomy and doomy. And so I just... <laughs> just, 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 just love us when they're gloomy and doomy. Which one of us is Gloom and which is Doom? You want to uh, take Gloom or Doom? <laughs> I think you are Gloom and Fen is Doom. Yes. Wait, why, why am I Gloom and he's Doom? <laughs> He's the one with the big thing that goes boom. <laughs> so, should I not be boom? <laughs> gloom and boom. Gloom and boom. Okay. All right. Gloom and boom. We'll use it if we ever start a burlesque stage show. <laughs> Francis, do you know what that is? <laughs> Ye would Francis know what that is? If you answer yes to that question, you are far less innocent than I thought you. Francis knows what one is! Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What is this session? Um, weird. All right. So, um. Um. So Francis is Francis is gonna start like like gently taking Azalea along the path. If it makes you feel better, Azalea, it's not necessarily a bad thing. What's not a bad thing? Seeing the world like we do. I realize it might seem that way from your perspective, but it's not inherently bad. If it is listen, inherently safe. It's I don't safe. Think it's it and just sounds sad. No, but think of it this way. If things are dark all the time, then the little bits of light shine out brighter. But do you even see the light? Once in a while. And at last I I'm see not convinced. the light. <laughs> and it's like the fog is lifted. I don't think our fans want the musical. If the princess, she would probably be Rapunzel. <laughs> I don't think there is a Dinsey princess like Ben. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's your Disney princess, Bruce Willis? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. This is so bad. Oh my word. Okay. It's a Thanksgiving special where we're being very unthankful. <laughs> Azalea is being thankful. Azalea. Uh, Alright, so, um, as you guys are, uh... So just, sorry, yeah. check. The sergeant literally just came out here to say, if you fail, don't come back. Yeah. Because horrible things will happen to you? Pretty much, yeah. Pleasant. No, sure how to take that. <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> Carry on. So, uh, as as you folks are heading down under the uh, vines, eventually you guys come to a uh, you you guys come to a bridge, and just this is a really pretty area. Right now, next to you, you have that canal, that Grand Canal, and it's just running arrow straight next to you. It's got tile inlays. It's very beautiful. It's you're in a very shady place. It's. Uh, it's quiet. There's some. Uh, there's some. There's some early fruit starting to come on the vines. Uh, it's. Uh, this wouldn't really be early. Cause it's kind of midsummer, but it's. I mean, it's nice. It's some of them are flowering. You see that there's a low bridge across, and beyond that, there's a road. So there's a road going east and west, and then beyond that, there's the hills, red. And imposing, dusty on the horizon. Feel free to do something. Oh, I thought you just paused in the middle of a sentence. I mean, aren't we still going to our destination? 
Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, walking. So uh, you guys come to the path, and you see that there isn't really a path. It's really more of almost like a goat cart. A, a, a goat cart? The path is a goat cart? <laughs> it's a goat path. That's interesting. It's a goat path, I'm sorry. Uh, it's sort of like running off towards the hills. Um, um, what do you guys want to do? Did we ever find out about um, tracking dogs or other tracking animals? Uh, I forgot. Did you guys ever send somebody to take care of that? I think it would have been in our morning shopping trip, presumably. Oh, that's right. That's right. The guy told you that they didn't have any dogs right right now. They they do have they do have a hawk, and uh, they do have a couple hawks and a tracking pigeon. Everyone needs their trusty tracking pigeon. The the hawks the hawks are all the hawks are all all four gold an hour. The pigeon is two silver an hour. Who was taking care of that? Would you like to make a pool out of it? Can we all throw in a little. I'm happy with whatever you guys. Alright, so you will need to make a handle animal check. Um, I feel like the ranger or the druid who are potentially good at those things might want to try that. Want Francis to try it? And did you guys rent the the hawk or the pigeon? Probably the pigeon? <laughs> I would agree with that. think with that same thing. All right. So, so sure enough, Francis is walking out here with like this pigeon on his shoulder, going. Do you think the pigeon has a name? Mm -hmm. We should call him Louis. <laughs> Louis the tenth or Louis the eleventh? No, he doesn't need a number. Louis the Sixteenth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we don't want him losing his head. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want to do with Louis? No, Armstrong. <laughs> that way, he wouldn't attract anything that way, Harley. <laughs> Here's our. <laughs> All right, so Louis Armstrong, the tracking pigeon, is firmly on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Louis. Uh, are, are you guys launching Louis? Are you launching Louis to do his deed? <laughs> well, do we have anything with the scent of who we're looking for? No. That might be difficult. Yeah, that might yeah. be difficult. Also, he's a trekking. Should we swing pigeon. by the? Home of the people that hired us? That might be a good idea. At least to try and get a sample. Alright. Yeah, we should probably do that. Alright, so you guys... you Yes, they said it's the big house with the four... They described it to you. It's down by the temple. It's a big house. Alabaster lapis doors. So you guys put a halt on the put a kibosh on the whole expedition. Do you guys cross the river, stand there for a while, looking at a pigeon, Wait, and, and come back? <laughs> come back. Um, all right. So you guys re-enter the city. You see Shabazz watching you as you go past. He just goes, <laughs> goes back. Uh, so you guys head down to the like house. Wave at him and go. Forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> He's just massaging again, his... the people who Clover is trying to write a song about. <laughs> they had a pigeon named <laughs> Louie. I can't write a song about that. <laughs> Soberto. Soberto to Oru. <laughs> Alright, so you guys head down to their house. Uh, you guys are able to get in touch with Aphorus. Aphorus does provide you with, like, one of the boys' shirts. He's, he's like... He's just like very, just like very business. Like he says about five words to you the whole time. It's like, thank you so much. You're welcome. Now get out of here. 
I hope you have a nice day. I hope you do too. Don't die. <laughs> Just look at the door. <laughs> the door. We'll try our best. <laughs> the door is closed. He looks very busy. He was holding. Like, he was holding like a scroll and a quill. And if you guys, if you got a peek, you see there's like a checklist on the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys again have reconvened on the far side of the canal. Give Louis the scent. <laughs> Give Louis the scent. <laughs> it feels so dumb. <laughs> so Louis the trucking pigeon is draped in this boy's shirt, and he gains through it the powers of tracking. I mean, that's not entirely surprising. Pigeons are known for their smell, their ability to smell. It's how they come in. Okay. Maybe Louis's gift wasn't as great as we thought it was. Um. <laughs> After after a while, Louie starts winging across the desert. You just look at this pigeon. Just going across the desert. <laughs> you guys are following. Louie's setting a pretty brisk pace. It's like about like 1 o'clock in the afternoon now. And up this goat track, you guys are going. You guys are going uh, for about two hours of Louie. Just every once in a while, he'll stop and circle and come down. And, um... At one of the spots he comes down, you see uh, there's a little bit of blood on a rock. So uh, this goat track continues up. It goes on for about a two hours worth of walking, cutting through uh, the occasional low shrubbery, uh, very scant trees. And two guys uh, come, or guys are right up close to where the hills and the mountains kind of come together. And uh, you're, you're, you're now in the shadow of the mountain. Uh, can somebody make a perception check for me? Not me. Oh, okay. Uh, good. I can if I can dance That's good. Things. Good job, Louie. That's real good. 24. Okay, 24. So, uh, as you're approaching, you see multiple things. You see that there is a... that, that this gully kind of runs up to the edge of the hill, and you see that there's a door in the hill. See that there is a that there's a, uh there's there's a door in the hill. You also see that there is a thin wisp of smoke coming up from a place that's further that's up and off the path on the edge of the gully. There's little there's little tendrils of smoke, and you see that Luby is circling over that point. I will relay this to the group. The group has been relayed unto. Can I look around for footprints? Sure. Uh, you you can you see footprints, surely, but um. Well, like, do I see any like boot prints? Okay, that that you're gonna need a survival check for, my friend. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you find boot prints. There, there, there are boot prints. There are uh, sandal prints, and there well, looks like a drag mark along one side. You see the occasional little spatters of blood on rock. Also, also, you see uh, paw prints. You see paw prints there. What type and how big? Um, you'd guess dog. Pretty big. Are Again, talking, relaying this to the group. Sure thing. Are we Dane big, or are we talking... Mastiff. Big. Mastiff big. I'll try and check out the obviously burning pile and assume it's an ambush. Alright, so, um, what do you want to do? Opinions? <clears throat> That can work. Yeah. I'd like to stop. All right. I'm also so going to take I. that piece of sand-colored fabric that I purchased and use it to attempt to blend in a bit better. Does that provide any? Um, sure. It might. It might. It might provide you with a um, with a with a little bit of a bonus. What was your stealth roll again? Or you you still haven't rolled it yet? I didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good. That's two natural 19s in a row. Oh, okay. So 27. All right. So so as you're creeping as you're creeping up, all of a sudden you hear a and you watch as Louie drops from the sky right next to you, transfixed by a arrow. Louie. 
rip Louis Armstrong the pigeon. <laughs> oh. Does everybody see that? Uh, probably. I mean, you of all people, it, it, like, sad about it. it, like, landed on your hand. <laughs> By the way, I also rolled a 27. Okay, myself. are you following her closer, or are I you was, just staying? Yes. Okay, all right, so, uh, Doom and Gloom. Why did your stealth get so good? Um, at, at second level. <laughs> okay. And the fact that I rolled a natural 18. Okay, so. all right, so. Wait, your stealth is, is, plus nine? That's the Seven. seven. Yeah, seven. Then how did you? Oh. How does that equal twenty-seven? Did you have plus seven and rolled an eighteen? I said twenty-five. You said twenty-seven. Did I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your stuff is almost as good as mine. Jeez. <laughs> All right. So, uh, doom and so doom and boom are uh, so it's gloom and boom are creeping closer. Um, so you guys, as you creep closer, you see that there's like, um, there's, there, there's kind of like right over this ridge, you hear voices talking, voices talking, you hear one go, what do we do about him? Somebody has to go get him now. No, 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 we're not going in there. We're not going in there. If he ran in there, he, he, he can die on his own. He can die on his own. We'll just lock the door. He's not coming back out. But we had to go find it. The whole plan was to get the ransom. They're not going to ransom. They would just send an army out here. You know that, and I know that. Now shut up. Third voice cuts in. What I'm failing to see here is why we let him get away. We can still go in right and get him. He's just a kid. And then you the, kind of, then then the then then whoever's speaking they kind of move away from you, and closer to the fire, and they start talking a bit quieter. Can we hear that? Make a perception check. I'd like to move closer. Sure thing. No. All right. No, I can't. <laughs> All right. So I guess you, I'll try to hear them. Too. All right, Fen, you're gonna need to make me make me another stealth check. My perception to try to hear them was a seven, so I don't hear them. You hear... You, oh, that was mine, too! You hear your sister swearing under her breath that she can't hear them. <laughs> what did you roll, Ethan? Oh. Oh, buddy. Balls. <laughs> Nat one on stealth. I got a freaking 25. That didn't carry over by continuing to move towards them? Well, you got to a safe place, and then you chose again to move towards them. I don't understand why I had to re-roll, but okay. Alright, so here we go. This is going to I hope be... you all are ready for combat. Mm. Alright, hold on ready a second. Ready as ever, which means not Never. at all. <laughs> Come on, melatonin. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh... All right, there we go. At the moment, we have Fury. Not, that's that that's that that's Fury and Moonlighting. I'll start working on a um, yes, a sketch for um, for Thenmir soon. All right, here sorry, go. I know it's no. The last I'm one. I'm I'm gonna do that once I'm finished with classes. I'm gonna just use Photoshop. All right, so Servena. Sure. I've done just about everybody else. If you want me to, I'm happy to. Servena, okay. you're Servena. I'm gonna say you're over here. Servena is also lying down. Apparently, yeah, Servena is also <laughs> lying down. All right, so we have here we have uh, our dear, our dear uh, lady here. Amari. Amari, yes, she's here. Uh, where's our little friend? And Francis is. Francis is just going to be somebody. Do you need me to email that to you? It's okay. We'll we'll handle it out of session. I'll just be the black heart. And that leaves us with who else? Nobody. Oh, right. Little Felix. And Stuko. And the armadillo. And the armadillo. Yes, we need the armadillo. And All right, so he will be the red it's heart. That's like a really bad band name. Felix and the armadillo. Felix and the armadillo. We need Felix and the armadillo. We're still missing... Uh, all right. Uh, so, all it's right. Like Francis and the flower patch. Francis the... Ugh. <laughs> well, it's all right. Okay, we just got to find that. Okay, so, folks... 
uh, I need everybody to roll initiative because they know you're there and they know they're and they know you're there very much. Ooh, I'll take that. Do you need rolls for people who are not here? Uh, yes, please. All right, I can roll for uh, there's, Amari. There's a cat. Oh, oh. I just. Oh, I, oh, oh hey! Gosh. Hey, you! Can As I a note, I do not right. have Felix's sheet. Okay, so, so so this moment, Felix is a tiny little frail child with no powers whatsoever. Probably. The gods are not speaking to him today. Uh, okay. Alright, so are all you able to see the map on roll 20? Yes. Yep. Alright. So, uh... I got a 6. I have a 22. A six twenty-two. All right, let's uh, so so let's get these. I also in. have a twenty-two. All right, so we have a twenty-two. We're rolling in sync a lot today. That's just weird. Okay, what are we so rolling for? Initiative. Initiative. There was a natural one. So e Ethan Tasha twenty. So Ethan Tasha twenty-two. Who else we got? Uh, Harley, what was yours? Did you roll for Francis? Uh, no, I didn't. I got fifteen. Fifteen. Har Harley, what was yours? Six. Fifteen. Uh, six. Uh, Francis is a six as well. Uh, can somebody just roll for Felix? I don't know what he can do, but... I got you. Fifteen. Natural twenty. Never mind. Felix is going first, and we have no idea what his powers are. <laughs> of course. All right, so here we go. This is this is this is a really interesting initiative board. All right, so first up is going to be Felix. Felix cannot see what's going on. This is at the top of the gully. There's about a 15 foot like scree kind of drop off between where the tw between where the uh, between where uh, gloom and boom are and the rest of the party in the gully. Sweet. Who's running Felix if we don't have uh, Can we just put him at the end of the list? Yep, sure. Just because we have... Yep. Can I save that natural 20 for something else then? No. <laughs> Alright, so, 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 so Felix, Felix, Felix will say is ill and a non-combatant. Felix suddenly clutches... Or he can keep the nat 20 on his initiative and just hold his turn. His initiative yeah, this round. That's fair. That's fair. So we're keeping Felix. Well, what are we delaying? Is is Noah coming? Not be Noah. Uh, then can we just stick? Fe can we just stick Felix in a corner and reuse the natural twenty for something else? Because there's no point in rolling initiative for him if we have absolutely no stats or spells for him. Felix Felix falls to the ground yelling, "My appendix!" <laughs> can we say the natural twenty? Uh, I'm gonna say no because it was rolled for Felix. But if he's not, but. Okay, DM to DM. That was a joke. Okay, but also DM to DM, since we're not keeping him in the initiative order. Just saying. I appreciate that, I but I disagree. Right con. What? I I appreciate that, but I I I disagree. The next session, Francis is gonna die now. Both have. All right, first up. Next session, Francis dies. First up, it is doom and gloom. Or excuse me, gloom and boom. Go ahead, boom. Boom at the moment. <laughs> at the moment, boom. You are, you are face to face with a very large, very surprised, not very happy to see you, mastiff. I'm sorry. What? <sighs> what is that? The dinging is a clock on the wall. <laughs> it's like what sound effect? It's the sound of your approaching inevitable death. <laughs> that was, uh, that's the sound yeah. that he made when he rolled a natural one and stuck his head out from over the top of the ridge. Wait, who rolled in that one? Ethan. <laughs> Boom did. He made me re-roll a 25 on stealth because I decided to move a little bit closer and I got a nat one. Dude! What? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little annoyed too, but... Um, that's cheap. I'm seeing that I'm very close to them and did not yes. want to be that close. Uh, so I'm going to roll backwards to about here. All right, you can do that. Power roll. 20 foot and... roll. <laughs> Wait, hang on. No, I, hang on. I was pinging the wrong square. One, two. There. Oh, 
Like, just move me forward two spaces. Okay, just move you forward two spaces. There you go. And I'm going to hold my action until they start to make a aggressive move towards us. I'm actually inclined to do the same. Who's losing their mind? Is it is it possible for me if I hold my, my turn to do my movement then? Yes. To that would be delaying movement? your initiative. Holding your holding your turn requires using a bonus action and you can only I'm, hold your standard action. I'm leaning on Andrew's Andrew's house rules. Okay. Alright, so screen. That always seems silly to me that you could only hold an action. Right. That makes right. no sense. You should be able to hold your movement. I agree like, with that. I, I, I said I said you can hold stuff. I think we've done that. Yeah, we have done it. Yeah, I'm good with that. Alright, then I'm gonna hold until possible action is made. And remain unmoved because my stealth was good. And I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> Who's shouting? I'm very interested in this argument. It's just my students being loud. Okay. Um, um, I'm excited. Uh, all right. So, what do you guys want to actually like do? What? The, have the twins attacked? No, we're both waiting to see if they make hostile actions first. Okay. Okay. You're you're both waiting to hold that to hostile actions. Uh, next up would be um this guy right here. He's gonna step forward. Who in the hell are you? Wait, which one? The guy in blue steps forward. And he only sees me at this point, he right? He only sees you, yes. This one, right? Oh, this is gonna be bad. Um, I... I'm going to start pretending that I'm insane. I'm going to pull up a Menadeel, and I'm going to start going, should we tell him? <laughs> should we tell him what we're here for? <laughs> I, uh, well, like we're just looking. There's no ingredients. And just like playing an insane card here. <laughs> Make a deception oh, yeah. check, or make a make some kind of check with that. Uh, whatever, like, bluff or perform? Bluff or perform, yeah. Perform. Break. Okay. Nine. Nine. <laughs> the guy goes, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here. You're going to come over to me right now. Come. He's going to back in with the sword. Come. I'm keeping away from him and continuing with the insane thing and just going... He want he, uh, he's gonna touch me. He's going to pull. He's going to pull my weapons away. He's gonna take my money. Is just like again continuing the insane. That's part. the plan. Come here, buddy. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna follow you. And uh, you see the, the, And at this moment, the, I draw black rose and shoot him in the face. Okay, so as he did that, this this other, this other guy is gonna start. This guy, other guy, is like starting to come over this way. Like he's like he's already starting to like like they were trying to do like a pincher thing. The dog was coming over here. All right, go ahead, make an attack roll against the blue man and his group. If combat is being yes. entered, yes, then so this lighter yellow is that a raised area or a lowered area? The lowered area is the lighter yellow. Excellent. I will. I guess throw a knife. Yep. And then can I keep stealth and drop into the gully basically? Um okay, so if you're gonna because you're making an attack, you're gonna have to make a new stealth check, but you can That's theoretically yeah. do it, yes. I rolled a but, twenty one on my attack. Okay, okay. Well you shot him. Okay. And I'm rolling with advantage because it's a sneak attack. Yep, he has no idea you're there. Yeah, that's gonna hit. That's gonna hit a lot. Max That's damage, 11 points. Okay. 11 points of fire damage to him. Okay, 11 points of fire damage, and uh, what'd you roll for your damage, Sasha? I haven't rolled it yet. Okay. Alright, and you're going to make an acrobatics che check, too, for the drop down. Me? Yeah, for the drop down. It's like a oh, it's like is a, it like a sheer drop? It's like a 15-foot scree 
embankment. I, I'm basically just trying to get sort of right over the edge so they can't see. Oh, okay. Then you're, oh, the okay. Th then just stealth is I'm fine. I'm just sort of stepping off the edge just enough that I'm hidden from sight. Stealth is fine, then. Can I... Also max damage. Can I combine my... What little... <clears throat> <clears throat> what little bit is three. left of my movement I moved like three squares mm -hmm. two squares can yeah. I combine what's left of my movement and my bonus action to um, re uh, reload yeah yeah sure okay that was 14 for me damage 14 for you okay so you so you so you so we're gonna start actually oddly enough uh, out of the two of you then gets her attack off first she throws a knife it buries itself in the guy's chest he goes Oh, looks down at it, and just then, like, the whole front and top of his head just blows off. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. uh, so I, you need to stop checking me. Yes. I really hope Azalea could not see that. <laughs> Azalea, that is another it. natural 19 in stealth, which takes huh? it up to another 27. Okay, they have no idea you're there. Can I... No, real, what did you say? I said uh, Azalea projectile vomits. <laughs> no, let's. Uh, no, we're, we're gonna find out what his alias sees. So, and I'd like to be okay. right there. You see nothing. Yeah, okay, you're fine. There you go. You're I right would there. also like to. Can I roll an intimidation check based on the fact that I just blew the man's head off? Yes, with advantage, in fact. <laughs> it's a good thing I have advantage. Nat 20. Nice. It was a what, 5 and a nat 20. What are you trying to so do? I have a 22 intimidate. Yes. And I would like to quickly flip the crystal in the mechanism and point the device at the next guy and just go get away or you're next get away or you're next continuing to play the insane all right all right the, 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 that, that that guy just keeps, starts backing up with his hands up and 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 you and you hear people you hear like a clamor back from the camp that you can see people what's going on what's going on over there and you just see like and you see like that the, there's like that there's like a guy with a bow and arrow kind of like peeking out from over here and there's this guy behind this and uh, there's a lady with like a staff who's like leaning out from behind that big crate. They're all trying to get eyes on you. Back then, can you? What'd you say? Then is, is trying to whisper, I don't suppose you can get my knife back, can you? <laughs> Well, it's not my turn. So. All right, Amari, it is your turn. As okay. of as of current, um, you have no. You, there, there's no indication that the that these people know you're down here. Okay, and I am. Down can she here. Can she hear me going? Get away! Get away! Or you're next. Uh, probably. Yeah, she heard the gunshot. Yeah, she heard the gunshot, yeah. and if you're yelling, everybody yeah. in a three mile, three Gabrielle mile radius. <laughs> 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 well, how how far down is this depression? Uh, it's about it's like a fifteen a fifteen foot embankment. Is there like a way to get out? How did who is it space get out? They climb. You can climb out. <laughs> it take you take you about a full turn to climb up. Um, I'm gonna hold, also hold my turn until something happens. Can I like back up to like here? Just so I have a better view, like a more angled. I just want to angle a little better if I can't see from here. All right, sure thing. Got gotcha. you. Oh. I okay, mean, I you can see the camp now. You can Wait, see so who's this? That's Stuko. Oh. I couldn't find the armadillo. Slug now. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> ever happy with the armadillo. armadillo. <laughs> what is this Stuko is then? now an armadillo slug. That's a dog. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I, all right. All right. So. Uh, problem, but um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go there. Can I see better now? Can I see what's happening? Uh, you can you can see the camp. You can, actually can't see your friend still. You still can't see okay. uh, Boom, but you can see the camp now. Okay. My nickname is not Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, the camp can now see you. Why didn't you tell me that? If you can oh, see the camp. God. You can, if you can see the camp, they can see you, and you did yeah, not roll stealth. That would have made sense. Uh, okay, so this girl with the spear... The case. This girl with the spear is going to hop down. She's going to land hard, though. She's going to come up a little bit awkward. She's going to take one step and be like, Who are you? Did she take damage? Am I the only one that she can see? How can she, she not see She didn't roll that bad. 
What? No, she sees all of you down in the gully. None of you are stealthing. You're all just kind of standing there. No, she can't see you because you're because you're like in this weird little outcropping. I don't know if I count in the gully right now or not. You're you're straddling the gully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the splits. Yes. You're doing a fifteen foot split because that's clearly humanly possible. She ain't no human. <laughs> clearly elfishly possible. <laughs> All right. So um. I I, okay. Wait. So I was holding my action. So I moved over here. Yeah. You can you can use your action. She used her turn to get down, and challenge you. What do you mean? What am I doing here? I'm. It's free real estate, isn't it? It's just a gully. I'm sitting here with my cat. What about it? And who are your friends? She yells, pointing at like uh, like uh, like Azalea and. and they, they are my cat sit. They're the, my other cat sitters. I'm t I'm taking them on an adventure so they know how to take care of of my cat. Wow. Shush, <laughs> 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 Stuka. I'm trying to have a conversation. Wow. <laughs> Stuka, don't speak to me like that. Watch your mouth. You need to be washed. You wash your mouth out with soap. Anyway, we're cat sitting and we're exploring the cave because we're allowed to. You have a problem with that? I forgot I was muted. Azalea is like holding Todd. <laughs> so, we're also fox sitting. The two of us, we want to go on vacation and so we brought all these people so that they can learn how to take care of our crazy animals because our animals are insane. Make, uh, make, it, make a bluff check. <laughs> yeah! And Azalea gives disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> get out of the way! And, and, get out of the way! I should get out of oh, no, the way. I back. Really have a negative to that. I got a 12. A 12. I'm also holding a cat, and the cat is convincing. This, this Honestly, what else should I be doing down here? This, this lady's looking at you awfully strange. So he's looking at you awfully strange. She's not. Sh she's honestly not sure what to make of you. How, I mean, how are you doing, ma'am? Are you having a nice day? It's sunny out. Shut up! <laughs> what brings you down here? I live here. Wait. So she's like pointing her spear back and forth, at, like first to Mari and then Azalea. Really? How long have you lived here? It must be a really interesting place to live. Shut up! Wait. You're gonna have to come. You're gonna have to lay down your arms right away, and you're gonna have to wait until the chief comes back. I don't. I only. <laughs> have, I, I can't. Do, do you want me to lay down? I can't detach those. Yeah, I'm gonna touch your bodies. That makes no sense. Are you okay? Maybe you should come out out of this cave and go out in the light. You've probably been down here for a long time. Are you losing your mind? Uh, as you guys hear it, you hear what sounds like a lot of voices coming from the other side of the ravine. That's not you hear what sounds like uh, like shuffling feet and uh, approaching horses. Does the there girl any... seem surprised? Oh, sorry. Um, camp. Uh -huh. Is there anything that would indicate horses are usually kept there? Make a survival check. Or knowledge nature. Mm. I doubt it matters much, but uh, that's a big old eight. I mean, it's hard to tell from where you are. You're peering over the top of a ravine, what and you didn't see you, you didn't see anything. But Do, I mean, you didn't get a good look. Seem surprised to hear horses. Does she seem caught off guard? She does seem caught off guard, as a matter of fact. Okay, great. Another search party, probably. Also, do these guys like have we ever seen the likes of these type of people before? I, I'm sorry, I missed a whole lot, so I don't really know what's going on exactly. I'm assuming we're in the cave. do like click no. no, you're not. Oh, we're not. Where no. are we? You're outside. Mm. This is outside. Where? Where? We're outside where the cave. We? No, no, no. But like, out, relative to um, who's his face? To Telmarno. You're like across the river. You guys followed a goat path for a while. You guys hired a tracking river, pigeon woods, named you know. Louis Armstrong, who's currently dead. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the only person thinking that. <laughs> Th thinking what? Over the river and through the woods. <laughs> okay, but we're going looking for the dude, right? Yes, we are. Okay. And you have a dead tracking pigeon named Louis Armstrong. <laughs> nice. 
I'm assuming we named him that ourselves. We didn't find a collar on him saying we are strong. No, what he was. Think? Think? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think I named him? Like him? It literally could be a 50-50 toss-up. <laughs> Give it a guess. Um. Okay. But we don't recognize these people. Do they seem nope. nomadic or something? They look like they look like a bunch of raggedy people in the desert. All right. Cool. So they're probably not the ones who took my son. Has anyone seen my son? <laughs> Nemo! <Nima! laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was funny only to me. It's fine. Hey, right, whose turn is it? <laughs> um, so that's the question. Um, it's going to bring us to um, Azalea and Francis, who I keep wanting to call Tracy. I don't know why. <laughs> Mom has got it going. No, that's Stacy. Yes. I know, but it sounds the same. To be perfectly honest, he does talk a lot about his mom. <laughs> Why is there Stacy's mom and Jesse's girl? Like, what's going on here? Um, a whole lot of inappropriate touching. <laughs> 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 That was a speak from Gabrielle. I quit. <laughs> 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 Sorry, go ahead. It's Azalea's a turn and who's? Uh, Francis. Cool. It's Azalea and Tracy. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Tracy. You don't want to bang your mom. Sorry. We're not streaming, are we? <laughs> yes, we are! <laughs> <laughs> My mom is dead, Francis says. That's weird. <laughs> Alright guys, that does it. The title the title of this episode is Gloom Doom and is Gloom sorry, is Gloom Boom and Necrophilia. <laughs> Actually, let's not name the episode that. Harley, are you okay? Where'd Harley go? <laughs> Harley just... Harley left <laughs> the demi playing. Dramatic. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to stop interrupting. Yeah, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, me or... You, you. Right, you're Francis. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so what all did Azalea see? She's seen this Most lady. Important. She heard a gunshot and she saw this lady jump down. And then she heard horses on the other side of the cat the ravine. Okay. Cool. Um Sorry. Yeah, Azalea's not gonna do anything just yet. She might back up a little bit. Are you holding your turn, basically? Yeah, I... Azalea isn't particularly fond of attempting to do things when she doesn't know what's going on. So, mostly, I'm gonna, like, be looking around trying to figure out, like, what's happening and piece together what's going on, if that makes sense. All right, Francis is gonna step up to here and hold his turn. So are we all holding until something happens? Pretty bad. Sure. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, except for me, who has already blown off someone's head, and technically yeah. me, who oh, well, put a knife in his uh, chest. But... I think Az Azalea might like try to call out something like, "Are you okay?" To whom? Just in general, to people she can't see. All right. So the dog is gonna move over here. And this guy is still keeping his distance. He's like, he's just going to keep trying to talk to you. It's all right, buddy. You're just going to turn around. You're just going to keep on walking right back to town, okay? All right. You're that just going to like five different changes. Just going to turn around and keep on walking back that way. <laughs> Who's he speaking to? You! You, blown head off man! <laughs> Who's saying it? The guy in green. The man in green. Right by you. That, 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 that. No, no, he's alive. His his pep, his color swapped companion is now skull skullless. 
bandits, now without bandits? skulls. Because unless he somehow managed to blow his skull through his, like, <laughs> through the top of his head. Okay. Which would be honestly pretty hilarious. Okay, he's missing some of his skull. Alright. Alright, this is gonna bring us to, um... Crossbow guy. Wait, which one's crossbow guy? That's crossbow guy. He's like, now everybody just, I'll bring just hold on a minute here. Everybody just hold on a minute here. What? This horse is coming. You better do something about that. All right. Now, now here's the thing. Where do you want to go? We can let that happen. What? Where do? You, where are you trying to get? What are you here for? Talk to us, and we'll talk to you. There's a cave somewhere that we're going to. Okay, but why are you going to the cave? That's what I'm asking you. Why? Because we live here. We have a right to know that. We're going exploring. We like spelunking. But this is not a, good, this is not a place to spelunk. If you are wanting to come here to spelunk, you are going to turn around and go back out here because it's not a safe place to go spelunking. Okay, fine. We're going exploring to find because we're dangerous type of people and we're looking for someone. Who are you looking for? A friend of ours that we lost last time we went to Pokemon King. <laughs> <laughs> What's your friend's name? May we see him? You see that he you see that he's notching the crossbow. His hey. name is Daniel. James Daniel? Alright. What's he look like? May we see him? Maybe we can help you out. What can we do for you? Are you going to shoot him? Because it looks like no. you're going to shoot us. I don't want to... He doesn't need to be shot. He might be already dying. He doesn't need to die any faster. The, the, the crossbow is cocked, but he puts up puts up a, in his hands. He goes, We ain't trying to cause no harm to you. But I, just, I just want to know, maybe we've seen him. We hang out around these parts. He is about six foot tall. He has darker skin. Not as dark as mine, but, you know. He's not really from around here. But he's got tall, dark, he's tall, tall with dark skin, uh, brown hair, what? brown eyes, and he was wearing, I don't know, like, traveling clothes. I'm really glad he's not there. exactly, he's kind of nondescript. A seven foot tall guy who's nondescript. No, seven foot, I said six. You said six, six foot twelve. No, I didn't, I said six foot tall. Oh, okay. You did say six foot tall. <laughs> I'm sorry, I heard six foot twelve. And with that, Cervena breaks <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy goes. I ain't si nobody like that is passed this way. You folks are best heading back to town. Well, we're not exactly going to let him die out there, and I don't know that he went this way. Someone said he it didn't. was a bit of a network of caves, and we didn't come in through this entrance. We went through another one. He didn't come this way, to... lady. What? He didn't come this way, lady. We've been out here for months. Nobody like that's come this way or gone in and out of this cave. We're looking for him anyway because he may have wandered down this direction, underground. All right. Uh, the, so, uh, whose turn is it? Is now going to be the beige man. The beige man's going to step forward. Step forward. He's going to step up to here, and he goes, going to go. Hey, little girl. He's going. He's going to call out to you, Azalea. What are you doing out here? Okay. Huh? huh? What are you What are you doing out here? What are you doing with these folks? We're 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 on an adventure. What kind of adventure? An exciting one. <laughs> what are you looking for? Well, we're looking for a person. What What's What kind of person? What does they look like? What's their name? Where are they from? Could I hear? I heard. The, the oh, you, de you definitely, you definitely could. He's standing right next to me. Okay, good. Um, well, his his name is Daniel, and he is a friend of ours. You know, um, my friend here knows him from back where she's from. Um, and his name is Daniel, and he's like six foot tall, and he has darker skin and darker eyes, and um, he's he's a pretty cool guy. Um, so I've been told. <sighs> And, you know, he really likes caves, and... <laughs> Incredibly you know, enough! Do you like caves? Incredibly enough, this dumbass believes you! <laughs> <laughs> like caves, and I was wondering, since you live in this cave, do you like caves too? I mean, what has, what's like the most interesting thing you've ever found in one? Uh, immediately, immediately, immediately the girl with the spear is going to go, 
They're all they're lying to us. Kill them! Is she gonna this guy the guy's gonna go No they're not! Alright, so so okay, so we're back to the top of turn order as you see the guy f pulling up his bow. The so the guy at the top, he roll he, the guy the guy with the crossbow. He he is aiming his bow. The girl with the spear has her spear up. The guy at the top is going. Now everybody, we can just talk about this. The guy in the green isn't sure what the heck's going on. Uh, what's going to bring us to the top of the turn order? It's Ethan and Tasha. Now I don't have grit and can't make a called shot, mm -hmm. but. Can I make an attack roll on an inanimate object? Absolutely. I would like to shoot his crossbow. All right. That that that, that that's going to be a little different than shooting a person. That's usually a grit point because you have to do yeah. the cold shot thing. But here's the thing: if grit, <laughs> if grit if grit didn't exist, would he? Would, is that something that a person could do? For whom grit doesn't exist. For the is Right. Uh, you'd be attacking against the weapon's AC with a penalty, I believe. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, Ethan, are you not a gunslinger? I am a gunslinger. He's a slinger of guns. But so I do you need I, none. I, I, I don't have grit points. I'm, I'm supposed to have grit points at first level, but I can't. Wait, why? Um, Disability score. Yeah. There's a there's a loop. There's a yeah, loop yeah, yeah. I, I can remember correctly. Like I think zero, I think I think it is one. Automatically, it always one. rounds up to at least one. Oh, minimum one. Yeah, so you can shoot it his gun if you want his uh, crossbow. You just have to look and see if it spends a grip point or if you just have to have one grip point at least. Well, where would I find that? It's on the gunslinger um, character. Yeah. Uh, Hang on, I still have the stuff. What I'm here, Nika. Class. Thank you. This is why I keep all my old character sheets. I should know this, but I was doing it wrong for a long time. I kept spending right. points. I don't remember. Um, this yeah, I don't big... think I can do called shots or utility shots until third club. Utility shot. Yeah, I feel like utility I think shot. Higher one. Okay, like so utility shot third is third level. It's a blast lock, scoot unattended object, or stop bleeding. Which this does not fit any of. Uh, yeah, a no. targeted shot. That's the a single one. firearm is what you'd be talking about, but that's for a specific part of someone's body, and that's seventh level. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to shoot him. I'm just trying yeah. to destroy his weapon. I'll say you that's can make it. That's the closest you've got as specifically written oh, stuff. I, I will let you take. There. I will let you take a shot at disadvantage. I'll let you try because I think it's something that people absolutely try to do. It's something that people should be able to try to do without a ridiculous yeah. special skill. There's so many ridiculous special skills. Go for it. I just rolled two natural 19s. <laughs> nice. nice. Is that a crit? Yes. Uh, wait. No. No, it's not. Frick. Dang it, I haven't increased my crit range yet. I've, inc I've increased, the, increased to the crit value. So if it was a nat 20, I would get a times four, but... Ooh. Well, you're shooting the gun, not the guy, or the the weapon, not the guy. I know, but like the more damage yeah. I do, the closer it is to destroyed. Well, roll the we'll roll your damage and see how much it gets, because I think it. I mean, you you roll the damage, you subtract hardness, and then throw it at the hit points. I don't even know what the hardness of a crossbow is. I either. rolled minimum damage, so that is four. Four points. So you hear a so you see the the, the string breaks, the arrow flops down into the valley, the the. Uh, it's messed up. It's not broken, but it's pretty messed up. If the string's up. broken, then you can't shoot it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. So it's broken. Yeah, it's broken. The guy's gonna with yowl. With stringing, it wouldn't be broken. Yeah, the guy's gonna yowl and pain. jump back on guard. Interesting. Okay. All right. So uh, this is gonna bring us to Tasha. I am holding at the moment. All right, you're holding on to the edge for dear life. This is going to bring I'm us just, to... I'm waiting to see if more hostile action occurs. He's dead, say, Amari. It's I, your turn. Can I use a movement and bonus action, by the way? Sure. I wanted to move up and pull the dagger out of the dead guy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, you do, the, the dog is growling at you. Okay. Before he moves or after he moves? After he moves. But I did not leave his threatened range to get to the the... Dagger. No, so. you didn't. No, 
he's you're in, you're in melee with him now, but he's not attacking. Okay. All right. Where is the dead guy? The dead guy is right there. Why can I not see him? Because he's dead. Cause he's not there. Here, hang on. There, dead guy. Oh, thank you. All right. Is so, he ever there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amari, it's he was your there turn. Before we killed him. Did you delete him? Amari, it is your turn. Um, girl with the spear. We said that she started charging. Right? Yes, she's. She, yes, she. She. She is actively charging you. Okay. Cool. Where did she use her movement? Like, has she moved forward? She at has all? not moved forward at all. She's just ready to attack. Like her okay. intention is very obvious. Okay. I was in the middle of updating spells, so that's probably not a good thing. Um. Okay. Uh, she's, like, far away-ish. Mm -hmm. This is only 15 feet. That's not actually gonna do anything. Um, I am going to... I'm going to go up to within 15 feet of her, so, like, All right. here. There. Thank you. And I'm going to cast Firebelly on myself because that's cool. Um, are you also gonna turn I'm... into a bat? <laughs> oh, you are? You are actively turning it? What? No, she Ooh. asked if she was turning turn into a bat. Oh, that'd be fun. I don't see the connection, but okay. Um, Batlin! Momlin, the fire breathing bat. Oh, that's right! <laughs> Where's your dog? Oh, you forget mom was a fire breathing Okay. Bat. No, God. I was bat, but I forgot that she could breathe fire. She was the best mom bat. Yes, yeah, she was. Mm -hmm. Not a mom bat, a mom bat. Yep, good mom bat. <laughs> okay, really good. I'm gonna face fire on this girl before I start cracking up. Go for it. Did you call another mom bat a mom bat? Always. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to breathe fire on her and just make a reflex save to save to half it. All right, reflex save to half. Roll damage, please. Four. Four. What you? Uh, she save. she rolled natural Sorry. one. <laughs> you know, no, no, what? Natural one. Okay, so then she's going to be roasted a little bit. So burn her eyebrows off. Lightly roasted. Lightly toasty roasty. Alright, so she's down. Third degree burns on the side. Alright. she look? Uh, pretty good. It's also her turn. Uh, she's gonna step right up to you and she's gonna run you through with a spear. Or at least try to. Oh, okay. Um, that's gonna be a 21 to hit. You know, I'd rather that not hit today. I'd rather my AC suddenly jump another seven points, and so she misses. Seems doable. No, she hits you. Uh, she's going to give you uh, four points of damage. Ow! You're not. You're rude. Tell us why you're here! She yells as she's like driving the street. Tell us why you're here! I can't. You put a stupid spear in my gut, and now I can't talk to you. Uh, he says, talking to you. Uh, uh, the wizard is going to turn and is going to cast a spell on... Um, Wait, what did you say? Is going to cast a spell on Fen. And uh, at that point, I yes. think combat has enough been entered that I would like to make my go. Okay, sure. Do I? Can I do it in reaction to her starting to cast? Yes. Alright. Which one is the wizard? The wi Presumably that one. Yes. Thank I'd you. like to throw a knife at her. Go for it. Are you close enough? Die. Say again? Do you have, or is she in range? Check. I think so. You're Because we, yeah. cause, cause we agreed that, because we agreed that, uh, we agreed that a longer range for knives makes more sense, right? Yeah. yeah a we, ten foot range is absolutely the Yeah, no, we, we, we had already agreed that. Oh. What did we increase That's it That's pretty to? good. Uh, I think we said it was 40. Yeah, 40 okay. sounds right. That is twenty-two. To hit? That hits. 
And this counts as sneak? Yeah, she doesn't know you're there. Excellent. Dang! Um, 13 points of damage. She's dead. Nice. And I'd like to duck back down and try hot again. Alright, go ahead and make, make a stealth check. Make a stealth check. That one's not as bad. It's only so, a uh, 19. Alright, 19. Alright, well, we'll see. Um, Alright, this is going to bring us to... Uh, well, she was casting a spell, right? But she died? She died, so you see you see, so, you see, see this white blast just fires off over your head. Okay. By, it misses you about by what about 10 see, feet. Except you're welcome. <laughs> All right, this so you could maybe just kind of act like throwing them. And yeah, no, I at that I kind of like Thenmir just kind of shouts, "Thanks, man," and, ke <laughs> and keeps on going. The, 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 this is gonna bring us to Azalea, and I don't know if anybody can see Ven, but there's a big grin on her face. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna bring us to uh, Ven and our man in the field, Francis. Sorry, uh, Azalea and Francis. Team Azalea. Yes. Okay. Azalea, what um, do you want to do? Okay. So, the guy further back was the guy who believed Azalea, right? This guy, yeah. Okay. Cool. I did have the wrong guy, but I don't think it matters. Okay. Um, has the guy closer to the second dog done anything? Uh, he raised his arrow, he raised his bow to shoot, but never shot. Okay. Okay. Shoot. Didn't Do I Stuka? destroy his crow? Yes, you, yes, you blew the crossbow out of his hands. That's why okay. he never shot. Do Stuko and Todd go on our turns? Yes. <laughs> cool. So Where's I'm there? going, if I may, to cast Auditory Hallucination. Sure thing. Um, okay, first, before I do that, um, do we still hear the horses and No, you No, you only heard it once. Okay, perfect. Um... And they seemed noticeably, like, somewhat, like, taken aback and maybe a little concerned when they heard that. Uh, just this girl. Well, this girl did, yeah. Okay, cool. Go so get it, you genius. Cast it <laughs> on her and the other guy, the bow guy, not the guy who seemed to believe me. Um, because the guy who seemed to believe me may be able to be otherwise duped. Um. <laughs> <Nice>. Otherwise duped. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to cast auditory hallucination, and with auditory hallucination, I can make them hear. Uh, so it's a will save to not believe. Okay. Um, and I can cause them to believe any sound I can imagine. I can intuit intelligible speech, but instead of precisely imagining a sound, I can identify a sound the subjects know, and they imagine it doing what you describe it as you cast the spell. So. I am going to describe some like some sort of party on horseback, as we just heard, to make it more believable. Basically, like someone is coming after them because they know they did something wrong and they're there to find out. Okay, what do they need to roll? Uh, no it's save. will disbelief. So that would be the, the thirteen, I believe. No, so they have to roll against you. Wait. They have to roll the save. You don't have to roll. No, I, I didn't roll. I was adding up to get to the thing. Ah. Okay, so it's so it's the level of the spell. It's the level of the spell. Ten plus, plus the spell level plus your wisdom mod, I think. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's my wisdom no, modifier. No. Okay. Intelligence. intelligence. Your wizard. Is it intelligence for wisdom? Yes, oh, it is. Intelligence okay. for wizard. Wait, hold on. I might have done math wrong. Yes. Uh, sorry. That would be fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so this guy is gonna throw down his bow and just start running. He's running. Nice. He's running away. The spear girl doesn't look bothered at all. Azalea is a freaking genius. This guy's just hightailing it nice on dodge. Yes, she is. Unfortunately, I can only get it to affect two people. <laughs> Wait, so you did the horses, but the right? range... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. It's the horses, but the range eye is also uh, 400 feet plus 40 feet per level. So it's like 480 feet. Nice. Nice. But once it's already affected them, they if they go outside the range, it just lasts for the spell duration. It doesn't last like going oh, outside right. the range yeah, doesn't no, end right. on them. Sorry, hold on. Uh, 
Uh, the spell duration is just concentration, so. Okay. okay. All right. This is going to bring us to Francis. Francis is going to step up, and he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Flanking. And he's going to do the stabby stabby. Advantage, uh, 14, 14 plus 2, plus 2, 14 plus 4 is 18. That hits. Francis is doing damage as we speak. No, you, you said do the stabby stabby, and now I'm feeling the stabby stabby is a dance. Stabby stabby. I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey, but I turned myself around. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Francis stabs her Francis stabs her in the back and she looks very bad. She you stab a knife stabber. on in, and then you take it out, you stab it in some more, and you shake you twist it, it all up. Uh, <laughs> you stab it all around, and you turn it all around, all around. <laughs> and now he's bleeding out. <laughs> all right, so um, at this point, our 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 our, our, so child friendly. our dear friend, our 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 dear friend Crossbowman has just kept running. He's just running. He's he's he doesn't want to go to jail. He's just running. <laughs> Which one is him? Uh, the crossbow guy. The guy with the crossbow. Where? I... He disappeared. Well, he, the guy he, that he, formerly he, had a crossbow. He ran off, he the, off map. the map. Yeah, he ran off the map. Okay, that's Who's this? Who's who? That one. That's the beige man. He's up next. What beige man? Is he the, the stupid one? Yes, he's the stupid one. The beige <laughs> man looks down. The one who believed us? Yeah. All right. Okay. I believe you, little girl. Let's go find Daniel. Stop killing my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm not killing anybody, and I don't want anybody to die. So if we can sort this out non-violently, that would be fantastic. If you can call your friends off, I'll call mine off. Friends, stop it! Are you just here? Are you just here? Just, just, are you just? Are you just hear the girl from below you? Shut up, Greg! <laughs> Greg, never stop believing in peace. <laughs> Oh, he goes, I won't! And gives you a double thumbs up. You. You be better than this. <laughs> he like puts down his sword and he's giving you the thumbs up. It's okay, Greg, you've got this. Come on, I know you have dreams and I know you can do better than being a thief out here in the I desert. I had a dream once. <laughs> I would dream to be a great pastry chef, he yells. Greg, I think you would be a fantastic pastry chef. Okay. You should go out and leave that dream. Just just go now. Go to town and start yourself off with a pastry business. This is so tangled. I, I just don't buy flour from so and so. <laughs> Greg lifts up his hands. Yes! Oh, live your dream. Yes! Wait. I'll go back! I'll go back to my family! And just you see Greg starts running down past all these people. For the record, for the record, the man has had to make three checks, and he's rolled a natural one on every single one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Greg, you can do it. I believe in you. Azalea, Azalea doesn't need combat. She just needs to believe the thing. Thank you, small mystery evil child, he yells, and he runs back. <laughs> so, so Greg disappears off the map. <laughs> I feel like I feel like <laughs> Nexus Charisma is just kind of like bleeding over. <laughs> oh, it is. This is Azalea just needs to like put all her spells into like charring and like, convincing people of things. Actually, <laughs> actually, I I second this. I I wholeheartedly second that. Like really. <laughs> so Azalea. Um, all right, this is like but you would your, only use your it for good. Crazy high. <laughs> yeah. Top of the order. <laughs> what can I say except you're dead soon, and I'm gonna shoot the guy in green. The guy in green who has not attacked you yet. <laughs> I've got a dream. Like I don't you care. Lovely <laughs> you don't care. Okay. <laughs> sure. He was. <laughs> he's threatening me. He's got a dog that's threatening me. I'm shooting him. Oh. You can't growl, can you? No. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> 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 
It's not. Rawr. <laughs> Alright. Rawr. <laughs> That's a natural freaking 20. Oh my gosh. Bye bye, dog. Are you shooting the dog or the no, man? I'm shooting the guy in green. The guy in green. Do you quadruple what I roll, or do you quadruple the number of dice I roll? No, just what you roll. I'll be right back. Come on, max damage. Not bad, not bad. 23 points of damage. Ye gods! Alright! We should at least, it's like, it's like a first level adventuring party. This guy is just like, this guy, you, sh you, 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 sh you just shoot him, and you just watch the life go out of his eyes as it hits him, and he's knocked back. He just falls to the ground. Immediately, the dog runs over and starts, like, licking at his dead body. Ew. Like, li like looking at, like, his wait, face wait. and stuff. Wait, wait, hang on. Like, sad dog? Yeah, like, sad like dog. Him like, sad dog. What? Like, sad dog. Sad dog. Oh, it's a man. No, I feel bad. He's gonna eat him. That's an incredibly, incredibly... That's speciesist. That's speciesist. What did we say? That's discriminatory. Okay, Gabrielle Hickman that? is now speciesist, love. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Honestly, alright. I mean, if, if it's a tame mastiff, then okay, but other than that... He's like, he's like, he's like looking at the guy, and uh, this, this dog is just... This dog is just... He's, he's bugged out already. He's gone. He's running. He's running back. He's running after the guy with the crossbow. Alright, so he's gonna bring us to um, our dear ra red, red rogue of rager. I'm a red rogue of ragers? Yes! <laughs> rager. Um, rogue. I guess there's literally only one person left, right? Yep. Would you say rager Rick? Ranger <laughs> Maybe if I were a, uh, a, a druid or a ranger. <laughs> um, I guess I'll go wander over and uh, and go stabby stabby. I'll do the stabby stabby with my rapier on the lady. Is right. it possible to get to say here? Yeah, and uh, you can, and you you will need to roll a dex check to drop or an acrobatics check to drop down all the way just to get down and be able to move the rest. Uh, that's. Sixteen. You're fine. Okay. And do I have advantage on this? Yes, because she's already being flanked. She had a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Michael, you love Plus me. Plus seventeen hit her. Yes. Excellent. Like you said, this is a first level adventuring party. Basically, we are basically slaughtering last mm. week us. Yes, you just <laughs> slaughtered last yes, week. Yes, but you. they tried to attack us. Um, they started it. Uh, did um, they though? In my defense, I didn't Ten. slaughter anyone. Ten. She's dead. You oh, uh, did I have sneak attack on that? Because flanking. It doesn't matter. She's dead. No, because if, if oh yes, you would have been ten without. Oh no, it was sneaking anyway. Okay. Because she is in combat with two other people. Just wanted to check. Yeah. Since I'm only so, technically ish. So so you just hand. just to finish your, you grab her by the hair, pull her back, pull it. To, let the body drop. Dang. That was brutal. Let the bodies Felix hit the- Felix and Azalea are gonna be scarred for life by hanging out with us. Basically. Has Azalea seen any of the people die? Yes. Uh, you just saw, just saw that just, one. Just, you're probably, you're probably okay, just a spear girl. Others, Cause I'm the one that killed the, that killed the others. Yes. Yeah, that's what and I thought. And the wizard, who was, I think, out of eyesight when I yeah, you could, put you, a knife in the Azalea, you could not see the wizard. I- oh. Tasha, is that what Then was talking to Azalea about last night? Things in that realm? Yes. Okay. Although I think Ven would have probably not done the throat slit, but... Okay, what, what would Ven have done? Probably just, like, a, a stab through the chest. I feel like I feel like grabbing you by the neck and slitting your throat is a little bit violent for Ven. So, and that's uh, also not a rapier kind of thing to do. Oh, that's yeah. true, oh, that's true, that's yeah. true. I'm sorry, I'm still thinking, I'm still thinking Casita here. So, so, so just... She fought with her fists. <laughs> and Casita would use her fingernails to tear his throat out. Yes. <laughs> so, so what would Ven do? Casita uh, was violent. What would Ven do? Probably just, again, through the chest. Blink! Okay. A little bit of the heart. Yeah, like the, the, the first night through through the yes. heart kind of thing. Make it quick and and like a as, coup de gras. Yeah, as relatively painless as she can. Yes. <laughs> Given that she's 
violently killing somebody. <laughs> Slumps over. I'd like to go to my brother and get my knife, please. Alright, sir, so you scramble up, you get the knife. All yours. Thanks for getting it for me. Shall we hide the bodies before Azalea climbs the slope? I think that might be a good idea, yes. Alright, uh, where are you guys going to stick the bodies? I'd like to loot the bodies, too. Okay, alright, so you're and probably just toss the corpses into their tent. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, these people have, like, these have, like, basic padded, one person has leather armor. Um, the, uh, the wizard does have a staff of some sort. Like a staff that has some sort of green orb at the end. I'll pick that up to study it. Sure. No money on any of them? Um, you guys are able to find some money. You guys find some money on the bl on the blue guy who was dead. And you guys find some money in the tent. Totals about 100 gold. Spot amongst us? If you want. Oops. I don't see why not. Yes. There's about six people. Mm -hmm. loop, loop. Yes, six people? Yes, for the loop group. For the loop group. There are six people, yes. So, uh, what are the Rottweilers currently doing? Uh, Logistical question here. Yeah. Are we doing a group loot? I feel like we should. We should. Are people okay with that? I'm fine with it. Who wants to be our treasure keeper? Uh, Would you give us the honor? Um, like, if you don't want to do it, that's fine, but Tasha, you've usually been really good at keeping a I can, good track. I can keep track. I think he's asking about who would be carrying it. Oh, I see, I see. If we see. had a bag of holding, I'd say me, but I can't carry any more weight. Maybe we should split uh, it up between people, because I'm ten pounds off of my cap. Francis? I think Azalea doesn't really carry very much of anything, so... I think Azalea is a good person. Yeah, I, I trust Azalea. I'm good with I feel like that. the only danger with Azalea would be she might randomly donate it to charity. <laughs> the horror. <laughs> uh, I'm making a new thing in the Titan Guard. I uh, have, based on what I'm seeing in myself at the moment here, I should have... I should have about... I should have five or six free pounds. If anybody wants me to carry something. So 100 gold pieces, one padded and one leather armor? Yeah, one padded and one leather armor if you guys are interested in taking it. Like, the spear girl, the wizard, they have no armor whatsoever. I'm already 12 pounds over medium load, so I really can't take that much. Okay, money. that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that has consequences. What was the problem? He's carrying too much. I am current carrying 12 pounds over my medium load. I think it means that you can't, like, run or sprint. Like, I can't f do a full round sprint type thing? Yeah, like, you just be like, Bish, just, <laughs> just, Ethan just turns into Tim Conway's old man, running with all this stuff on his back. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, all right, so you I got like Fenrir is uh, perpetually on the verge of like falling over backwards. Yes, <laughs> he loses his balance right once in a while. Kind of like those Jack Sparrow runs. Yes, <laughs> he's the little kid in any backpacking group whose backpack is like half the size of his body. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. yes. All right, so you guys, you guys also have their clothes. Mm. You have jewelry from the women. If you want to take the wizard, has a necklace, looks like a locket necklace of some kind. Is it, like, got a picture or anything inside? It does have a picture inside. I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> okay. What was the picture of? Uh, it was a, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a, a Rottweiler. <laughs> it was, it was a rather good-looking young man. Shouldn't have attacked us. Cool. Uh, inside the cabin, you also find, like, basic if sleeping Azalea supplies. Hears that comment, she's just gonna look at you like the most disappointed and upset you've seen ben, her looking at you. I, I suspect <laughs> Ben would not say it in her earshot. Yes. Wait, Tasha, do you realize what you've done? You've created a male Aliseth. <laughs> yes. How? 
What? Because we killed it. <laughs> now there's going to be an emo freaking gold <laughs> Widowed, widowed man just running okay, around. Okay, but I kind of doubt it's their wedding day. I feel like if it was their wedding day, <laughs> he she would not have been out here accosting people <laughs> by a creepy cave. I you mean, never know. Listen, if so, a judge, but if an old, if a man starts running around, you know, home wrecking, we'll know who to blame. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. All right, so um, um, you guys also have like basic sleeping, eating supplies, dry goods, some jerky and whatnot inside the cave. There's bed rolls. Want me to put that on the group loop? I mean, if you guys want to like, haul it, I mean, it's probably like twenty, thirty pounds worth of food and water. Let's just take as much food as we feel we need. Yeah. We yeah. don't need to worry about water because we have Felix. And three days of trail rations yeah. currently. <laughs> I've also got, like, I have two and a half days worth of trail rations. We don't remember how much I have. Actually, I don't know when those are from. Those trail are rations are dried foods. They're, they don't go bad. Well, no, I don't remember if they were from when we left, if they were from us buying them in town recently, like, while we've been here. Or no, the if... three days of trail rations were what we got at the Flynn camp. Yeah. Oh, then we probably ate Yeah, those. you guys ate that. So you guys, yeah, no, we... So we, we don't we, actually have that. Yeah, we could definitely use some trail rations and water. I, I still have two and a half days. I yes. think I've still got a day. What you guys don't know is that Thenmir basically ate nothing the entire walk from the Flynn camp to town. That's true. I love how you always are like, you guys don't know this, but let me tell you what you don't know. <laughs> no, like, it's, it's, the, it's simply to explain how I still have it. Uh -huh. I know. It's just funny. Because you're like, you guys don't know this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's indicating... It's, in, anyway. it's indicating what is metagame knowledge. No, never mind. <laughs> His, funny how his stomach shrank anyway. three sizes, but his heart grew to... Relax and, and talk. We don't eat them anymore, guys. Sorry. That's fair. Sorry. Um... Okay, um... I can take, like... I don't know, I'm not expecting this to take more than three days also, so I'm just gonna do three days of trail rations. Like, Alright, so you guys can break it up easily into three days trail rations. Per person? Yeah, per person. Definitely enough for all of you. Even, even, even for Azalea and her six meals, six square meals a day. What else needs to get carried? I can take, like I said, I can take another ten pounds. Uh, I don't know, you guys might start taking, like, their fixtures, like, their sleeping rolls, their, like, satchels filled with personal stuff. Azalea doesn't feel particularly comfortable taking the things from them, so, like, she's like, maybe the food, like, it, it, like that I can understand, because... Guess they're not here anymore, but I mean they're uh, probably going to come back at some point. So we probably shouldn't take everything. Wait, does does Azalea know, like, can she figure out from how people are acting that the other people are dead, not just having run away? Well, one of them did run away. Two of them well, two ran away. There were a few that two or three that ran away. Azale but... Azalea knows the ones that ran away. Yeah. But she yeah. heard Gunshots. You heard Fenrir. Gunshots and gun. fighting. And yeah. she sees the one dead person. Does she know, like... We hid the rest. Uh, yeah. But... It, uh, for, the, for the record, uh, if you guys want to try that dog will not let you get near the guy in green. He will bark and snap at you every time you get close. My question was, like, are you guys trying to hide the fact that they're dead? Or yeah. are you just trying to... Okay. Ben will try and hide from you that they're dead. At least. Cool. Um, so, like, what if they come back for their stuff? I don't want to take it. And, like, well, it is theirs. Not necessarily. I kind of get the feeling that they were bandits, so I'm not sure it really was Okay, bandits. but does stealing from bandits make it better? It's reacquiring. Are you going to turn it back into law enforcement? <laughs> That which no. we do not utilize. We could. Do we have time to do that? 
Also, what is I'm, the law? I'm sure we can take it. care of it eventually. My mom used to say. Go to a thrift store. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you. You oh, want to hear what his mom was going to say? I Charles, what did your mom say, Francis? My mom would say that when you're doing something wrong and you know it, when you screw up, other people will profit from your mistakes. And that's okay because you were bad. And those people were bad. And now we're allowed to profit from their mistakes. But do you think they were really all bad? Because that one guy just wanted to start a pastry shop. Well, that guy also probably and, had some and issues. And clearly that's why he followed your advice and went off to live his dream of, live, of owning a pastry shop instead of continuing his life. Of banditry and depravity. The well, depravity. Depravity. It's the art of being the depraved. Depravity. <laughs> depravity. depravity. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I can say things in a Russian accent normally. <laughs> guys, the episode of this title. Did you guys and, take and away the maybe. other body as well? We took away all the bodies that you didn't know about, I think. Did you Except also take away the green. ones you did know about? Yeah. No. Okay. Azalea is, like, trying really hard not to look at it, and is still clearly, like, agitated. Uh, is there, like, a sheet or a bedroll or something around here? Guys, like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be argumentative, I just... I'm going to take said sheet and go drape it over the body that she can still see. Sure. I, just, I really don't... What? Think about it like this. If we take their supplies, then they will have to go back to a place and try to actually buy supplies, which may help them break their habits of accosting travelers and taking their stuff. Well said. Civilization. End, it could be helpful. It could get them back on the right track. Civilization is the greatest civilizing force ever invented. In the end, <laughs> does it truly matter? Just, just get, let's do what you want to do, and then let's get out of here. Go for a little walk. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Look on the sure. bright side, as Elliot. You managed to save somebody today. You helped him realize his dream. <laughs> Sorry, he's not laughing right now. I just think like, <laughs> he's got a dream. <laughs> he's got a dream. Bandit. 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 Another person had a dream too. Ba Bandit I'm Greg's page kind of himself. Nudge ben, just kind of be like, pro just probably leave it right now. And they probably had family somewhere and people they cared about. If they cared, they'd be there. What would have happened if we didn't defend ourselves? We would have been the ones who were killed, and we would have been the ones who lost family in our points. I hope you, you appreciate that they attacked us. And while it might kind of stop for them and their families that they're dead, I don't know about you, but I kind of prefer being alive myself. These I'm going to kind of, like, wave my hand at Cervena and kind of, like, give a gesture of just, you know, like, leave it be there. And let her and let everybody else continue, like searching through bedrolls and stuff. And I'm going to find like a rock nearby and beckon Azalea over, like like a a, a large <laughs> rock or just like somewhere to sit down, basically. <laughs> Azalea. Okay. Azalea backs away slowly. No. Do you really? No, no. No. <laughs> Do you go over, Azalea? Do you, do you go over, yeah. Azalea? Yeah. <clears throat> Look, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to to start an argument or like I I understand and I appreciate that you guys defended us. I I do. I just I don't like this. I understand, Azalea. Something that you must understand, though. The way of this world is malleable some lives are redeemable some are not and while we were do we will do our very best to prevent 
bloodshed. There is some that can be unavoidable. You were witness to my first true combat. And yes, it may seem that I am pessimistic. Yes, it may seem... Well, I am pessim pessimistic. But it may seem you. that I am quick to take life. But know that we all have our own qualms with it. And what qualms do you have with it? I do not know if I do not know if we are all just machines but I choose to believe that we are not each man each woman has an intelligence each person has something to contribute <coughs> to the world bless you sorry um removing those lives from this world removes their influence and I agree with you. It is not good. It is not... It is not beneficial to anyone, what we've done. But they accosted us, and despite our best efforts to resist combat, they initiated. You must understand, there is nothing we could have done. understand that it doesn't make it any less sad though and i'm i'm curious if you think that it's a possibility that we could all just be machines what makes you disagree with that theory i can see a little bit of hope well do we not mm -hmm. all have emotion oh certainly i'm not disagreeing Every... with you i'm just curious Every machine that I have ever seen built did not have a feeling. That is the one true evidence that remains for me. Hmm. Maybe... Even in you? I don't know. But maybe we can fair. make a deal. I will continue. I with with the rest of the party i will continue to help defend our lives while avoiding bloodshed where possible if you will agree to help me to teach me some of the sources of joy in this world certainly i can see hope in you yet very well and at this point, I just kind of, like, stand up and turn and look at the rest of the party and say, well, shall we move on? Anybody need any sort of, uh, I was going to say healing, but we don't have any healing stuff with us, do we? <laughs> we, just, we, just have, we just have Captain Pendicitis. I have that wound, but I can only use once. Maybe. I thought I had purchased some um, healing potions. I don't recall you doing that. Does anybody recall? It was it? the session that I was I had to skip, and we didn't Tasha... get a chance to go shopping at that point. Nobody oh. was shopping aside from okay. clothing. Oh, we forgot to tell Ethan about his clothes. What? Uh, <laughs> what? I want to tell you this was not my idea. Where Wait, are my clothes? <laughs> They're on. What, where is my clothes? You wanted something that covered your head, <laughs> if I recall. Oh, yes. And uh, what the woman came up with was a bright orange turban. <laughs> I didn't need anything to cover my head. I, I yeah. never requested that. <laughs> I very clearly remember that. You got it anyway. You have, you have, you have, you have a bright orange turban like a little, like a little, like a little <laughs> spike in the middle. <laughs> I hate you all. You're very welcome. I hate you all. <laughs> we love you, Ethan. We love you so much. We never asked for permission. <laughs> I, I do remember mentioning that we were at a clothing stop and, and we were getting clothes and have some memory of you saying, um, 
something to cover something my head. About getting something to cover your head, which is how it came up. Because I'm pretty sure yeah, I, I came up with that on my No, I requested that my left arm remain covered. I had no concerns about my head. <laughs> oh, no! Arm, head. <laughs> oh no, that's right, Ethan. You said you you said you said my head. Oh wait, I have my glasses. Because you're talking okay, about seeing in the sunlight, seeing in the sunlight. No. Yeah, I was I was worried about sunlight. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure you got like a cloak and a turban. But regardless, Tasha still made sure that you got a turban. <laughs> Okay, that's not my attention! <laughs> <laughs> she feels revitalized? <laughs> oh. I was not the person who came up with an orange turban! That's true. <laughs> she said that you I wanted a head covering. I thought I was given! <laughs> Now I have to figure out how I'm going to roleplay him, like, actually still wearing this. <laughs> just <laughs> polishes the top, just pats the top of his turban and carries on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Moving along. <laughs> Y'all are freaking weird. Where are you keeping it? Food. <laughs> Food. Happy <laughs> No, here we go. That's not it. This is it. This is it right here. Alright, so, um... Alright, so guys, before you... Before you is the cave. Before you is the cave. Oh. <laughs> it's the dwarf and arch freak. I got another squeak. It's the third end to squeak. That that man is the archbishop of a dwarven temple. Prove me wrong. Archbishop of a dwarven temple. Wait, what did you just say? Archbishop of a dwarven temple. 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 You should show these pictures to the stream. I'd like to. I don't want to offend anybody. Okay. What? So, so, that was that, 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 that was first Thedmir. <laughs> this is improved Thedmir. That is amazing. That's fabulous. So this is the one that will stay an archduke. Archbishop. Pardon me, and this was original concept of Fenrir with the <laughs> original. That is amazing. Except way more pallid, oh with God. way less oh. facial hair. All right, so um, uh, you guys, you're out in the middle of the wilderness. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. There is back in front of you the entrance to this cave. There's a uh, right. there's a wooden door. One of which is closed, one of which is hanging open, swaying in the desert breeze. Can you do a survival check to see if there's anything wacky or if there's any like footsteps or anything in there? Yes, you may. Is there any wind? Yes. Okay. Can I try to piece together a form of torch from their campfire? Yeah! Go for it. Okay. Do I have to roll for that, or just have a? You can do that. That's that's something you can do. Okay. Like like assuming you're not trying to do it in a rush. Yes. I also have the spell light, so. Yes. Well, we can always save the spells if yeah. we can save a torch. Yeah, light a cantrip. Yes. If that isn't working for some reason. Didn't used to be, but yes, it is. It is in the it is, it is in this edition of Totally Not Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I know it's a cantrip in 5e, so... Yeah, it is. It is in Pathfinder. Yes, it is. Alright, so you guys have... You guys have two people who can do light spells. You guys have torches. It's okay, I might try and sneak ahead. Alright, sure, go for it. Um, um, and... Unless, um... Brother Varys, you seem to have an... Unexplainable jump in your ability to sneak lately. <laughs> what? 
You poured a bunch of points into stealth, and now- I really didn't. You, you, can, you can stealth almost as well as I can at this point. I know, but I didn't pour a bunch of points into it. I'm just really good dexterity. So do I. <laughs> anyway, if, if anybody wants to come with, uh, who is capable of being stealthy, um, can I do a survival check to see if I can find any trackable anything? Go for it. I hate you. He's not actually rolling them, though. And why? Andrew, because you just triggered a trap and probably blew your face off. Hmm? Well, I was asking if anyone wanted to come with. I know. I didn't think we'd enter it yet. I know. I, know. I still hate you. Uh, 17 survival. 17 survival? By the way, You're able to I, see that there are... I would be looking for traps. Yeah, sure, absolutely. I also have a trap sense, so... You have trap sense? Wait, no, what does I that don't. do? I don't. That was my old character. Never mind. That's I'm true. Like, hang on. What do I roll for looking for traps? Is that Perception. Device? Perception. Perception. Perception? Frick. You only... That's a, seven. Seven? That's a Fifteen perception for me. Fifteen perception for you? Okay, you guys don't see any traps. You see the door hanging open. For the survival check, you see that there are a lot of footsteps kind of like rushing up to this door and going inside. Like, oh, running into yeah, it? Yeah, running into <laughs> it. Running into it. Do I visually see any traps? I mean, I no. wouldn't necessarily know to check for anything. No. I just, I would be doing a very cursory check to see if anything. You don't see there. any traps. Can I still make a perception check? Yeah. Yeah, I walk into the wall. <laughs> um, okay. I say, this, is, this is a very nice wall. You guys should all look at this wall. No, what the I man walks into this a bar wall? and says, "Ow." Yes, that is exactly what happened. Here's what Mario goes. I think this is about that. <laughs> she that walks in. Me. She walks into the closed half of the door. <laughs> what did you say? You walk into the closed half of the door. <laughs> this door doesn't open. Oh! <laughs> I chipped a tooth. Is <laughs> your only mine? What did you say? I chipped a tooth. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, you're fine. Just uh, to check. We haven't heard any more of those rider noises. No, you haven't. Oh yeah. What the? What was the deal with that? You don't know. That's probably an issue. Might be. Stop commenting. Stop it. Do we want to check on whatever that horse nonsense was, or do we just want to get going? <coughs> Anybody? Azalea? Any preferences? Um, I don't know, we haven't heard any more of it, and... Which direction did it sound like it was going in? Yeah. Uh, it sounded like it was coming towards the ravine from out over the desert to the east. So it'd be coming from the left side of this map. Did it sound like it was continuing to come towards us, oh, or did geez, it sound sorry. like it like came near and then faded? Uh, it sounded like it came close and then just stopped. Do we see uh, maybe, No, you maybe don't. Maybe it would be a good idea to check on it at least a little. Do I feel any But that's me just being cautious. If you guys don't want to, <coughs> that's okay. I caution this always good in my book. You feel I no planar want to know what happens with that. You feel no planar auras, Amari. Cool. I want an extra planar horse to ride up to me right now. What do you guys want to do? Make it so. Are we still in the ravine? Uh, I assumed you guys were at the front door. Where is that? It's off the map. Okay, well, then are we in the ravine or no? Technically, yes. Can I climb up and look around? Sure. Well, you guys were just out of it, and you guys didn't see anything, right? Nope. Not a thing. I would like to climb out and try and go find them. Sure, but uh, make or at a least do like a quick look around. Make a survival check, my friend. Who else is good at survival that can come with me? Francis. So at least good at seeing things. Francis will come with you. Oh, okay. 
don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> Francis. It's a children's show, Andrew. Get a grip. It's not a children's Gosh. show. We marked that on the thing. <laughs> Natural may possibly have a teenager who watches. I'm not sure. Wow, Andrew, look what you're doing. You're so, destroying that teenager's life. They can't see me. I'm, I'm sure they have dreams, and <laughs> you are squandering their dreams. <laughs> you are turning them into a heathen as we speak. You heretic. All right. You're leading the young. You're There's, leading the least of these astray. Wow. That was unnecessarily. Yes. People ask me. Both had the same thought. People ask me why I need a vacation. On an island that I own, surrounded by enormous piles of money. I've got a dream. Not you. Your dream sucks. Alright. I I, I, I natural twenty. I don't to know. Find everything that I can about this horse. Alright, so would I feel the horse with my wild empathy that makes me friendly to horses? You don't feel no horses. There's no hoof prints. It makes you friendly to horses. It doesn't give you a supernatural <laughs> sense of where to find them. That's true. <laughs> as soon as you walk into a stable. <laughs> so horse radar is like <laughs> <laughs> you're really distracted tonight. People ask me why I want a vacation. Um, Can I find anything with my natural no, there is nothing here to indicate that a large group of horses came this way ever. Wait, so was that- did we just hear the auditory- I thought that was before we heard the auditory hallucination. It was. It you was. didn't hear the auditory hallucination. So then where did these stupid horses go? Do I see any tracks of horses? <laughs> no, there are no tracks of horses. What did you do? What is wrong? What happened? I hate you. <laughs> Maybe we I would like to start moving forward, please. Sure thing. Yeah. Yeah, we can get we can't going. Find the horses. Let's go on with the job that we've been hired to do, okay. and we'll get annihilated for if we fail. Yeah, seems like true. something that we should <laughs> know before we took it. But Amari, Amari, you were not there for Sergeant Shabazz. Were Wait, you? What happened? He said, "If you fail this job, don't bother to come back. Because <laughs> terrible things will happen to you." <laughs> wow. Really wow. fun. <laughs> no, it was he was warning us about the family that hired us. Oh, oh there he is. Actually, being kind. All right, good for him. Presumably, unless he was lying. I don't know. I haven't looked out. <laughs> that was amazing. Unless he was lying, maybe. I haven't. <laughs> All right. All my characters are paranoid because I am paranoid. Same. I'm going to roll a sense motive check on the duck. Alright. Sense motive <laughs> check on the duck. Oh, I don't trust amazing. the rubber ducky. Never trust any I rubber ducky. That. Yeah, no. I wanted to make sure I heard right. Alright, anyway, so... Yeah, no, I'm done with going. All right. On the other hand, that duck was very suspicious. It was! Yeah. It was I really stupid. miss that duck. <laughs> I love that duck. Well, now I know what to get you for Christmas. Fudge duck. Fudge that stupid duck. <laughs> Alright, so, ladies and gentlemen... Ethan Christmas was to rubber duck googly eyes. What? Long <laughs> story. Alright, so... I know someone who could get you a rubber duck. I can get you googly eyes. Alright, so... <laughs> so, Ethan, Ethan, are you pressing Are you pressing inward to the cave? Yes, yes. I am. Alright. And I'm Whoa. leaving the torch with Francis, because he's the one that needs it. Huh? Francis is blind. Francis no, Felix is blind. No, no, Felix, Francis Felix, is human. He Fra doesn't have Fra darkness. Francis is just a human. Well, okay, so if all the humans need to cluster together. So me and yeah. Francis and Felix all need to be in a clutch because Felix is, is like, also blind. blind. I think oh. halflings have low light vision. Yes, they do. In this I believe so. I don't even know. I, 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 think, I think I said that people don't get normal vision. I don't care anymore. What? I, 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 think, I think you all need light. Except really? Else. Well, I mean, dark vision doesn't really count as you can't. You can just magically see in pitch black. Well, 
Never mind. No, that's <laughs> blind sight. Yeah, it's blind sight. It's like dark vision just means that your dimness isn't dim. But the thing is, yes. Um, dark vision still works in caves. Right. Um, because there's always a tiny little bit of ambient light, and the way that dark vision is considered to work is is working on the infrared spectrum. Right, because they used to call it infrasight. Yep. Interesting. Alright, so we're walking into the game. AD&D, y'all. AD&D. This has been your AD&D fact of today. Except nobody wants to play an old school campaign with me! Well, I'm stealthing. Alright. So am I. Are the elf mob twins scouting ahead, or are we sticking with the group? I don't know, that's up to you. I rolled a 15. I was planning to scout ahead. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Wow, we are really in sync with our roles tonight. If we were all going, like, I don't know what we were doing, but when I thought that we were all just going, I rolled a natural 20. Cool. That works. That counts. And Francis is... That's pretty good. That's and pretty good. Because I have a bouncy ball and I'm stabbing holes in it, and if I stab myself, then you'll know why I'm crying. Oh, honey. That, can we not why do are that? Why stabbing holes in a bouncy ball? That because defeats the purpose of a bouncy ball. Because it's incredibly... Because it doesn't stop from bouncing, and also because it sounds incredibly satisfying. Continue. Chop the bouncy ball in half. Uh... Don't do that. Eat these. What? Apparently, like they would like bite them along the fissure, and they would break in half. I don't know. Want to know what anybody was snorting? That? Because people were wacky in the nineties. That's totally Moving wacky. On. All right, so we are so we we are collectively a stealth. So awesome. So moving on, you guys enter a, enter a room. This is a this is a uh, it's just, it's a small room. You guess it's about um, let's see. I have to zoom in here. Excuse me for a moment while while I'm zooming. All right, so this is not a big room. I okay. I hate the panning view. Help! There you. <laughs> this is like you ever want to hear your DM yell in the middle of a session. <laughs> okay, so it's about woman. <laughs> Alright, so it's I'm about. I'm going to be singing this song for the rest of it's, my life. It's, it's, it's about 15 to 25. This is oh, what? Shoot, sorry, never mind. There is. <laughs> there you go. I can't read ones. It's a one. I just saw it wrong. And it's totally not because you have GM vision. Shut up. Yeah. GM vision. I was really hoping that lie would work. All right, so you see, so you see, you see that there are there there are three exits from this room. It's about fifteen feet. Oh, uh, it's about fifteen feet long and about twenty five feet wide. Uh, it's plain. There are torches burning in it. Uh, there are torches burning in braziers on the wall, um, and carved in the floor. There's a triangle, and at the point of each triangle, there's a circle. Wait. Wait. Is that simple? Wait, so there's a circle with triangle? There's a triangle. There's a triangle with circles on the With points. circles on the points, yes. Okay, sorry, I misunderstood that. Would anyone potentially recognize this? Yeah. Uh, somebody roll something for Felix. I got it. Uh, I got a natural four. Frick. I had a natural 12, but we'll go with Ethan because he rolled first. Oh, no! I believe this is a holy symbol, but I don't know what it is. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> would, I have, would I have any chance of recognizing it from my reading? Sure, take a long shot. Uh, also, uh, you, short one, Azalea, yes, you can make a roll for this too, you might know this. Is this knowledge religion? Yeah. Or knowledge... I absolutely do not know. Yeah. Oh, please. Would it be knowledge... Local at all? Could be. Can I give that a shot? What? Can I give knowledge yeah. local a shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 23. Freaking librarians, man. 23 freaking librarians. Uh, <laughs> you go to, you say nine? But Azalea, you do. Azalea, 
you recognize this. This, yeah. this, is, this is just one of the normal holy symbols of the worship of Amun Sol. Triangle with the three with the three um, um, circles. To this room, there are four exits. Wait, There's what? 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 Hold on. I said, remind me who Amun Sol is, and you said the triangle <laughs> with three circles. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He 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 is he is the sun god, the lone deity of the Amansul religion. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there are. Four... I will uh, explain that to the group. Yes, you were at his he temple the, the other day. Angle. Yes. Thank you. All right, so, so uh, to, so there are four exits to the room. There is the hallway directly behind you, which leads out to the door you came in. To your left, there is a there is a looks like a finished hallway. To your right, there's a finished hallway, and ahead of you, there's what looks like a natural tunnel, almost. I'm going to leave enough up for to see if they can find the kids' footprints. I'll give it a shot. Sure thing. We're going to have to go down uh, the tunnel, aren't we? I would, I, would, I, would, I would warn you here that, this, that, the, that, the, that the surface of the ground here is stone, not dirt. Well, yeah, but like looking for blood or anything. Sure thing. 16. It doesn't matter, because I got a six. I got 16, so I rubble. 16? Um, alright, 16. Francis rolled pretty well. Uh, so you guys are able to, uh, figure that the, the, if you guys are, find blood here. That's less than good. Is it a lot of blood? Uh, it's enough to be concerning, but not enough to seem terrible. I assume we're following if blood. we had a pigeon that could compare sense. <laughs> oh, wait. Too we soon, did. man. Too soon. <laughs> Poor Louie. Did we ever pick Louis? up the dead body of the pigeon? No, you didn't. He was so young. Wait, what happened? It got, it got shot. shot by an arrow. By Where the did we get this pigeon? <laughs> we rented him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Were we supposed to get dogs? I thought we were getting dogs. Why don't we get the mastiffs and make them go look for him? So we got pigeon. Where's the dogs? We have some blood. It can go and sniff the blood and then follow it. You know, you They're as not, the druid might be We didn't train going. them. I am going to go get find the dogs. Can Stuko track? I don't know. Can Stuko track? Stuko can certainly try. <laughs> can Todd? Fox can. Todd can certainly try. Also, foxes are hunting animals. They yes, be able to track. foxes can absolutely yeah. try. Either Todd, dogs. Todd will help. Okay, sure. Yeah. How does Todd need to help? Todd needs to smell the blood and try and trace where it came from. Okay, what would we ask me what role to make? Oh, uh, Todd would need to make a survival check, I suppose. I should also make uh, a survival check. How do I know what Todd has on survival? Looking it up right now. Thank you. Foxes have a plus five for uh, foxes a have foxes have a plus one to survival and plus five for scent tracking. So is that a plus six then? Yes, sir. All right, give me one second. Also, try to figure mine out. But go ahead and roll. Fifteen. Fifteen. So as you hear, uh, uh, so so as Todd's sniffing this, Todd seems like he he's he's unsure. He's indicating that you know he's like walking back and forth between these between the two entrances off to the right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to just roll them. Guys, he's rolling. Ooh! Yay. What did Stuko Stuko roll? roll? Stuko got good. St I need to make sure. I good is not good. Really hairy, and I still have not done one for him because I keep forgetting that I need to do that. But at least 16. Stuko indicates the upper passage. Todd indicates the lower. But you said Todd was wavering? Todd was going back and forth. Did Stuko okay. go back and forth? Stuko did a little bit. Not as much as Todd. Okay, hang on. I just want to make sure that that's... <coughs> Wisdom. Okay, so that should actually be a 17 if we're adding in uh, Wisdom modifier. Okay. Does that improve it any? No, he still, he still kind of goes back and forth smelling and then indicates at the top passage. Okay. Do we have anything of this child's that we can... A shirt. Yes. Yeah. A shirt. 
I will yeah, show did Stuka. we use the shirt? Yeah. I will show Stuka the sh okay. shirt and let him yeah. sniff it and see if he says the same thing. So. All right, both of you need to re-roll with advantage. Okay. I'm not happy with that. Um, oh, wait, no. 12. 16, again. 12 with advantage? Still. Yeah. I rolled a 3 the first time and a 6 no. the second time. Oh. Never mind, sorry, 10. Uh, both of them indicate the bottom passage. All right, we're going there. All right. That's the same one that they indicated the first time with the bullet, no. right? No. Wait. They indicated separate ones the first time. Okay. And now they're both saying which one? It's not on the map. So I'm confused as to which way they're trying to go. They're, they, they, they'd be going, excuse me, this way. Okay. Is that the same passage that they, in, that, um... That, Stuko indicated that's one that blood. that's no. one that Todd indicated first. Great. Do you guys go well, down this passage? The other one that Stuko indicated then. That'd be this and one. Just the one with the blood in front of it. The blood is right <clears throat> here. Sorry, the blood is right here. It's like right there. Between them. Yep. The one that was indicated twice is probably our preferable route. Presumably. That would make sense. Do you believe your fox is tracking Azalea? Well, I mean, he hasn't really had to use it all that much before. We lived in kind of a small town, but... I say, we should probably try. I mean, what, what we should probably do is keep the shots near the two of them, and they can keep getting familiarized with the scent, and hopefully that will help them. Yeah. If they go, Talking. they should be going to go a few feet down, say twenty feet down, and reevaluate. Yeah. If the kid went that way, then smell should be yeah. just as strong. And if he didn't, then it should be significantly weaker. I'm That's... going to maintain my stealth and just like look at Azalea, like watch Azalea's expression the entire time I do this. Just make sure I'm not overstepping bounds. But I'm gonna scoop Todd up. And like go twenty feet down, kind of like Which jogging. One? Like to here. That there. All right. I'm so go you... like twenty, thirty feet down the the tunnel. Sure. Yeah. I'm, am I re-rolling stealth or is my twenty-one? Holding? Your twenty-one's holding for this because you're not breaking anything. Um, Do I need to re-roll for Todd? Yeah. I oh, will do the same thing with Stuko. Alright, on the other passage? You know what? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, oh okay. Oops. I didn't mean to give you an idea. Alright, so you had that for down that far in the passage. This one's more natural. The other one's like a finished hallway that he's in, so you head down. Both of you need to make re-rolls. With advantage still? Yeah, was that still with advantage? Yes. Okay, good. Good. I hope. It was better than the first one. Oh, awesome. 22. Let's Ooh. go with that first. Okay, tw 22. Uh, Todd Todd immediately starts kind of like... Like, looks back, and then just like starts tugging you forward. So tugs you forward, uh, then mirror tugs you... Like, Todd, like, leads you down <clears throat> to, like, where, like, this tunnel kind of collapses in. And there's, like, a little side path that he takes you out. And he takes you along that side path until you reach, like, a bridge over a lower passage. And, and once he gets to the middle of the bridge, Todd's just going, ah, ah. He's, like, he's, like, he's, like, he's, like, pawing at the ground, he's, like, indicating down. Okay, if I saw him do that before I left, then I'm... You didn't gonna... see him do that. You didn't he's, see him do that. You, 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 you can't see him at all. But what'd you roll for Stuko? Uh, Stuko rolled a 12. Uh, Stuko is going to, uh, turn around and go back to the main room and start sniffing and isn't sure which way to go. Okay. How far down does this hole go? Uh, it's about a 15-foot drop down to the other passage. And do I see anything at the bottom? Uh, you see stone. 
like you see like the bottom of a like you see like okay. a cave. You see any blood down there? Make a perception check. Oh dang it! Twelve. Twelve. Uh, you don't see anything particularly suspicious. Though as though as you're looking, as Todd is leaning over, all of a sudden you hear a. Coming from down at the down the hole. Um, with your perception check, you're not sure where it's coming from, but it's coming from somewhere. Everything's echoing up in here. It's bouncing around. You guys all hear this scream. It rattles all the way back up to the main room. Stu, go in right. the main room. Can we tell which way it's coming from? Uh, it's somewhere from the right. I mean, if you're standing facing the two passages, you should be able to hear it in one ear or the other better. <coughs> Let me put not it this way. Echoing. You're hearing it from both sides. I mean Okay. Seeing as Stugo came back and Then and Todd didn't, I think we can process the elimination. Go there. Yeah. So let's go and follow. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put also, Todd. Is this Although I'm wondering if passage two, the one that Stugo was checking, is gonna be leading underneath the one with the bridge. I'm gonna Stugo put. Stugo backed out though. I'm Sorry, what did you say? Todd. I'm going to put Todd on my shoulders. I'm going to kind of like go over the edge of the bridge and like hang off of it and drop down because I don't want to drop the full 15 feet, but like I can drop five or 10. Yeah, that's fine. You, that you're, way. You're, you're able to do it. That's, that's something that you can normally do. Uh, oh, wait, make me an acrobatics check because you have more than your light load. Sorry. Is Maybe that with advantage or disadvantage? Neither. Neither. Just straight roll. Neither. Fourteen. You're fine. Absolutely. Okay. It's it, it's a pretty easy check. I just want to make sure you didn't like land on your ankle or accidentally do a swan dive and land on the fox. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. Yeah. Tasha, you were saying maybe that's the, the other passage is how you get under. I feel like that might be, and so we could probably explore it. But if Stugo didn't smell anything down this passage, that probably means that he didn't go this way, which means that they probably went the other way. That's... At this point. At this point, I'm going to just put Todd down on the ground and let him start sniffing. Are you telling the rest of us at all about this? Nah, no, you guys don't know about this yet. I'm just, like, getting a good feel for it before I come back. How are you coming back? You just dropped down 15 feet. It's only 15 feet. I can get a quick running start up the wall and grab the... the Todd, Todd leads you <laughs> out to here. Parkour. Where the cavern sort of widens a bit. This big, dark cavern is opening up in front of you. I'm going to kind of, like, put a hand on top of Todd's muzzle to keep him quiet. Just, like, let him know. And peer around the corner. Do I see anything? All right, so uh, you, you inch up to the corner. And immediately you see these two giant crustaceans surrounding what was like this 14 or 15 year old kid and one's like got him in his pinchers and that's where we're gonna end for tonight are you kidding me yes i oh, am geez. what time i need i need to, i need to, i need to get up really early tomorrow so just as a yes. note yes um seeing that <laughs> then kind of thinks well <sighs> I was going to t- go back and tell them, but this will be warning enough. And it takes a shot. <laughs> All right, and we will resolve you that. The cave on top of it. And we will resolve that um, on our session next week, or not next week. Next week we're taking a week off. We are. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. As a lot of us I'm aren't avail- driving. A lot of us I'm aren't available. Be- I, I'm getting back to Rochester at one in the morning, if things go well. So. Wait, what do you mean if things go well? Do you have an, an uh, audition or something? Mm, no, I'm uh, coming back from Thanksgiving. Wait, why if, would if that things be... go well tra- travel wise? Oh, I see. Wait, That's... so you're driving back Sunday? And flying Wait, and driving. Take... Oh, I see. I was about to say, like, why? Because my flight gets into Buffalo at midnight, and then I have to drive from Buffalo back to Rochester. Gross. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's better than a. Trying to battle Thanksgiving traffic for a normally seven-hour drive from Ooh, Boston true. to Rochester—that'd be at least ten. Yes. So if Wait, any of our any of our super fans want to meet Tasha, you know where to find her. <laughs> and when? <laughs> well, since since 
Yes, super feds. Search the entire city of Boston. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you no, I'm to that you're going to get it. Get to University of Rochester <laughs> at 1 a.m. so they can just show up there. <laughs> Hi, Tasha. <laughs> 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 just, just do like total oh, anime fan. We have two super fans, and one of them is my cousin <laughs> who I will be seeing at Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, so if Scott, Scott shows up outside your door with now, cupcakes, put them in the group chat. <laughs> it'll be a little bit creepy. <laughs> Okay, also, like, you never know, you might get a super fan, kind of like in every anime ever, where, like, the super fan stalker tries to stab you because they love you so much. This this makes so much sense. I love you so much, I want to stab you so hard you die. Like, that's yeah, not how love no, works. Was, like, the key I'm sorry, point. no stabber can, can, no, no super fan can oh. stab me, and Ethan couldn't murder me and, and <laughs> succeed on his life ambitions. No! Oh, you don't have to be lethally stabbed, they can just stab you in, like, the leg. What? Guys, what? what? I just made an amazing accidental discovery. What? That what? That I'm probably an idiot for not knowing. But, but what? if you right-click on the map window in Roll20 and move your mouse around, you can move the map. So just right-click and let go. Wait, what? You can! That's so yeah. cool! Dude! Okay, that's cool. Because my browser has right-click gestures, where if I hold right-click and pull down, it opens a new tab and stuff. And I tried to do yeah. that and move the map. That's awesome. So I'm shall we read so our quote, confused. by the way? Yes. Right, yes. I don't, I don't... There's four. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. Can I start? Sure. Uh, sure. Four. Once again, it. these are the people Clover is trying to write songs about. <laughs> Stuko the Armadillo Slug. <laughs> General consensus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think this is a holy symbol, but I do not know what it is. Oh no! <laughs> Andrew, attempting to imitate Felix. <laughs> wasn't half my imitation. Frickin' libraries, man! Ethan. <laughs> Alright, so, on this very disjointed session, I apologize to the world. What? Peace. Peace. Your world. We are sorry. To keep it disjointed, the armadillo thing reminded me that I saw my first armadillo. <laughs> you did? Yeah. I thought that was when I was in like the Midwest, like the, like Arizona. No, no, they're on Cumberland Island, off the coast of Georgia as well, and they are really.